Gotta know that this ain't living But we could run From Olivia And let it burn, let it burn You've gotta know that nothing lasts would be ours, but it's nothing new, and my love is honesty, I could push it back, push it back down if I have to, if you want me to, cause we can. Tell me now what's left to lose if we
All right, welcome. How is everybody doing today? Oh, I still have the leaderboard up. Let me uh, get that fixed. Thank you, random.org, for being weirdly sized every single day I open you. <laughs> Where are you at? There we are. There's our up next list. Excellent. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so for announcements, oh, I should probably, uh, t oh, first, music back on. I keep forgetting that. I turn the opening video on and I forget to put the music back on. Um, today is our Weiss pack sale start. So we have, actually, just Weiss general sale. We've got Weiss uh, starter kits for Attack on Titan final season, or I think they're starter kits? Supply kits, that's what they're called. We got playmats, and we've got all of our Weiss packs. Um, let me get a link to our Weiss page on the shop. But yeah, we've got everything on sale for Weiss this week. Where did my chat go? Uh, refresh. That's weird. Twitch decided to remove the chat on my... My other account. Oh, because it's the, uh, this isn't the live. That's why there's no chat interaction, because it's the VOD. <laughs> there we go. So there's the direct link to all the Weiss. But yeah, we got everything from Final Season, to the original Attack on Titans, to Fate, to Ruby, to, uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. We got Don Machi, Tokyo Revengers. Quintessential quintuplets, all of it on sale today. Also for things today, um, we were trying to find, you know, sort of Attack on Titan themed cards, so I'm like, you know, the Coach Trainer cards, if the uh, autofocus would like to cooperate there, I'm like, they kinda sorta look like a little bit Attack on Titan uniforms. I mean, they've got... I don't know, it, it looks more like a military-ish style <laughs> uniform, so I'm like, you know what? That'll be our giveaway today. <laughs> so, figured that was a appropriate viewer giveaway. I did see that. Thanks for getting back to me, Shuya. But, hopefully you have a uh, good last few hours of work for the day evening. And then we'll see if we can find some uh, signature cards for you. <laughs> Agree and approve of this selection. Excellent. <laughs> I feel like you are probably the resident uh, Attack on Titan expert, so... That is good to know. But, uh, let's see. What other things do we have going on today? Uh, mystery bundles have been refilled and everything like that. Silver, welcome. Congratulations on your viewer giveaway victory last night. That is a very stubborn, stubborn slack off. <laughs> So yeah, as a note, anyone who catches those Pokemon in the chat game are going to get extra entries for tonight's viewer giveaway of the Coach Trainer Full Art. I believe it is Unified Minds, if I'm reading the set symbol correctly, so getting a little bit, not like classic, but like a little bit older, you know, almost two gens ago, you know? <laughs> when Scarlet and Violet comes out, Sun and Moon will be two gens ago. Yikes. I know, right? <laughs> I feel old. But, um, let's see. So, yeah, mystery bundles are refreshed, and all prize drawers and sticker prizes and stuff are reloaded. Um, Weiss is on sale. Oh, we still have the new blind boxes. Did you so, ever show them? Yes, I showed them off uh, yesterday. But we have the uh, Battle on the Desk set, as well as the, what's the proper name for uh, it? Pokemon Town 2, or Volume 2. Okay. Like festival corner or something. I don't know. You know, party in the in the city streets. Yeah. <laughs> so that is our two new blind box sets this week, and then oh come on, there was one more thing that we had that was new this week. Or was that everything? 
Maybe it was two different blind boxes, and that's what I'm thinking, too. Oh, what do we got? <gasps> we managed to find... Managed to find one case... Of dun, of dun, dun 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 The cherry blossom collection. So all of the cute ones: Shaman, Torchic, the Minoon Plusle, Squirtle, Butterfree, and Pikachu. These these tree collections are super super hard to find. So Pokemon Forest Four, the cherry blossom tree collection. We managed to find one box. I think those should be up. Uh, let me know. Yeah, let me uh, just check right now. It should be let's see, featured, best-selling, noodled. Although it might be classified under old, because no, that looks like it will. Oh, well, yeah, that. Sorting you had, it was up there. So if you do old to new, it's the <laughs> second oldest set we had, but uh, it is showing six in stock. So we do have those available today. So. Glad you reminded me, because mm -hmm. I didn't even know about that one. I was surprised when I saw you pull the tree out from this pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the torch egg sitting in the little nest. Mm. Won't snipe that as I already have the set from you. Mm. No, all the trees are super nice. Now, my all-time favorite wish list thing would totally be having a set of the spooky trees for Halloween, but I, I have not found the spooky trees. I want a set of the spooky trees for myself, because they're so good. I'm excited that they are coming out with a new tree in a couple of months, with the uh, Latias at the top. Right, yeah. That one looks really good, too. But, uh... Yeah, so tree blind boxes, and as well as the battle on the desk and the other new sets. So lots of blind boxes, lots of Weiss, and all of the Pokemon packs that, you know, you could ever find. <laughs> True. But um, I'm trying to think if there's any other announcements. Our viewer giveaway, or not viewer giveaway, sub giveaway is tomorrow the end of the month, so we've got Machamp V Altart. So this one will be our viewer give or our sub giveaway tomorrow. So if your sub is active at the end of tomorrow, then uh, this is when we'll uh, that's when we'll be giving that away. The spooky tree? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. That's why we use our uh, trusted distributors for those blind boxes and stuff to make sure that they, you know, actually be the right thing to show up. Um, where is my... That's what I was looking for. Ladder! That is not... Why did it revert back? That was working yesterday. I don't know. But there we go. There we go. There's our ladder for this week. So we've unlocked Rose. We've almost got full art Malatmar. And then we are going to be working towards uh, Necrozma pretty soon. Also, Berkshire, 13 months! Sigoy! Thank you, Berkshire! Yeah, sub giveaway, not viewer giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> what I do? I think one of us said give viewer giveaway instead of sub oh. giveaway or something. <laughs> I said it like multiple times, so. What a word. Seriously, I am very good about the speaking, talking stuff today. Yep. Sure you broke something? That sounds fun. Hopefully something easily super glued, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but um, I think since that's all our announcements and stuff, I'm going to get started. We got some Lost Origin for Christopher to start off our day. As well as an altar bundle. Words no good English. Yep. That is that is about the level of speech I've got today. <laughs> Lost oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, did you mention the little? I uh, I thought of you, Ghost, at the convention because you have a hard time saying Lost Origin. Um, there was a little kid who's like, "Do you have any Lost Originals?" <laughs> 
like, um, sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, that's great. Lost Originals would have been an excellent name for celebrations. Yeah. <laughs> we got Stunfisk. Ooh, starting the day off right. Full art. Colras, first pack. Segoy. Turns out you removed the blame command. <laughs> you were too good at cleaning up the command, Shuya. I think it's just like greater than one, less than is, or less than one, greater than sign is how you uh, make it repeat whatever argument you feed it. Call Ress's experiment. Mm. <laughs> make good choices. I choose to pull alt arts today, and that is an excellent choice. Rose Raid. Does you guys have promos called Lost Art that you get when buying X dollars of product? Really? Is there like an official Yu-Gi-Oh store or something? Or that's interesting. I'm very unfamiliar with the entirety of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's. Uh, Product system. Glagar. Okay. So they're like a in store promo kind of a thing. Interesting. Ah, so many good Yukimori cards in this set. Lestrier. Yeah, Metacham. Comfy. Alright, come on. Big finale lost origin. Let's pull on Alt Art. Glygar. The cargo. Alright. We got full art Colrus, as well as the hollows and reverses from those packs. But that's not all. We got an alt art bundle coming up. Local game store officially cut ties, will not host or sell Weiss anymore. Host tournaments. Dang. Is there drama going down in the Weiss community that I don't know about? I haven't heard about any weird stuff like the Weiss producers are doing anything. Um, alt art bundle, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, all the pack variety. Alright, our alt art bundle containing battle styles, chilling, evolving, fusion, brilliant stars, and astral.
wants to focus on D&D &D and Magic the Gathering. Needs. I mean, admittedly, I feel like tournaments and stuff like that, like having prizes and getting people, and when you're a card shop, you only get seven evenings a week to assign to activities and stuff, so... I mean, if there's not a strong Weiss community, I guess I can see that being a decision they would make. For Frau, Slurpuff. It's really cool though that your uh, your store is like a D and D store. Like, I don't feel like there's many that like specialize in D and D stuff around here. Magic the Gathering. Every card shop is like ninety percent focused around magic, but not very many of them like I feel have like a D and D community. Save lie. Ooh, ooh. Full Art Vaporeon. Oh, evolving. You have woken up today and uh, you have brought us the awesome water EV. Segoy. Oh, they re These full arts are so hard to pull in evolving. I feel like we see these less often than the alt arts, even. When it's at least the original trio's full arts. Segoy. One of your card stores around you just went to D&D, Magic the Gathering, and board games. No other card games available. Yikes. Five thousand square foot building just for tournaments, and we're getting a huge following. Last turnout was 150 players. 85, and, and not 8,500, but 8,000, square foot building. I'm trying to wrap my head around what the dimensions of that would be. I mean, I guess it'd be like 400 by 400. So, okay, you know, that would be that's still pretty, really crazy big. Like, that's like a high school basketball gym. Warhammer and stuff like... See, like, Warhammer I can understand, because each of those tables, you like takes like a six-foot table to play a Warhammer if you're talking the miniatures thing, like, game on. So having a tournament of 150 players, you'd have a lot of floor space. Oh, dang. Oh, that's really rough that they're not doing any more Weiss then. Got Reggie Rock and Thievil. All right, Christopher coming away with some full arts. We got full art Vaporeon and full art Colress. All those end reverses as well. Hey, you are more than welcome. Glad we could get you some awesome pulls. Also, a reminder, since I don't nearly talk about it enough when I'm doing solo streams and stuff, but just remember that our Send My Stuff deadline has changed. Our Send My Stuff deadline is now Sunday. So if you get a Send My Stuff request in by Sunday, we'll get all your stuff packaged up on Monday and Tuesday and get it sent off for you. You don't have to do a Send My Stuff uh, each week or anything like that. But just when you want your uh, card sent out, that's how you pay for shipping and get us your shipping address. Yep, thank you, Shuya. Yeah, I just want to make sure I update everyone on that one because I keep forgetting to, you know, update that for a month or two and let people know it's Sunday now is the deadline because it used to be a different day of the week. 
But all of your orders are stored in your personal storage drawer with us, so you can accumulate them up for like a year if you want to, and that is totally fine. Save yourself some shipping and combine orders into one big shipment, and it's still $5 anywhere in the U.S., $10 per four pounds international, so... Make it easy on you, save you some money on shipping, all that good stuff. Alright, our first gym challenge of the day! Alright. Josh, you have... Do, 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 Tepig taking on Clay. Also, I did update the bad sheet, so the bad sheet should be 100% accurate now. And what are we battling Clay with? We're battling Clay with Lost Origin. <laughs> Let's go. I still need the Snorlax. I had a question. Just requested a ship out. It recently moved. Do you use the address on the order and pay the $5? That is a new address. Yes. So that's one of the reasons why we do the Send My Stuff, is if you ever have new addresses or stuff, it's not the billing address that we have on file. We never send to the billing address. It's only whatever address you put on the Send My Stuff. So as long as you have that as your new address, we'll send it to your new address. But hopefully your move went well and smoothly. I know the uh, when we moved just stuff around within our place, like that was a ton of lifting and whatnot. So hopefully the move was not too rough on you. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Tepig and Clay. All right, eight points to defeat Clay. Let's do it. Awesome, I don't know where anything is. I just threw everything in Rubbermaid totes. I am very much the same way when I pack. I'm like, I just, I hate packing. I'm just gonna put the stuff in the boxes and I'll, you know, it's a problem for future me to solve. And then future me's like, man, past me was a terrible person <laughs> and just put it all in disorganized. Shift tree, which is reverse rare, one point. And a regular rare glide score. Meanwhile, Colin has like everything in their own boxes, and then she's got like a sticky note taped to every box that says, ah, this is, you know, Pokemon cards and plushes and, you know, the microphone. <laughs> Colin, superior organization skills between the two of us. <laughs> Like, ten potes, those that are all Pokemon, I just don't know what's in each one. Oof. Well, the nice thing is, you're done with the actual move, you got your deadlines done and stuff like that, so now you just get to enjoy slowly, like, converting the boxes back into things in the house. Litleo. Regular rare Parasect. That's always the best thing, is when you no longer have to, like, rush to get, like, the old place cleaned and stuff, and you can just kind of be like, ah, all right, I'm going to set up my, like, I always set up my desk and my computer and my computer chair, and then after that I'm like, no, I'm good. As long as I got that and, like, a mattress or couch somewhere to sleep, I am ready to go for a day or two on the new place. <laughs> Ooh, we got an Amorous V from the Trainer Gallery, Sigoy. Regular Rare Macargo. I was going to say, we have not seen a huge number of hits out of the Trainer Gallery on Lost Origin so far today, so awesome. Oh, we got a Zapdos being a problem in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Pokemon and Chad have been very flea lately. They have no patience for being pelted with Pokeballs. We got Radiant Sneasler! That's a point! File Plume Hollow, that is two more. All 
All right, three points to go, two packs. But we won't say no to a uh, big four or five point alt art, that's for sure Lost Origins. So uh, feel free to uh, show us some Giratina or what el whatever else you feel like. Got Kingdra Reverse, one point. Regular Rare Main Neck Trick. All right, all right, we just need a hollow or better now. Ballistic, welcome. All right, uncommon damage pump. And ah, regular rare comfy. Why comfy? Ah, but coming away with enamorous V from the trainer gallery. We got Hisui and Sneasler. All those in reverses. Tepig got close. We were only two points off. In the process of building a wall of shelves from my Pokemon collection, then we'll remove the totes. Mm. Like you in like wood construction, or are you doing them out of like Are they like metal shelves? I have never been a very good like home improvement person. Like I took woodworking and stuff like that, so like I can build things, but like, I never did enough when we were doing, like, remodeling and stuff to get good at doing it. Comfy is more expensive than some Vs? What? Is that Comfy playable? Let's see, what's its ability? Flower selecting. Once you turn this Pokemon to the active spot, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, and the other into the Lost Zone. Yeah, no, I can see that being a uh, real good card for most of the uh, Lost Zone decks, giving you a uh, really, really good Lost Zone Accelerator. Promo Comfy was also high. Oh, is that one of the uh, Build and Battle ones? Woodshelf, Inkerfin's dad's retired, begging to help. Ooh, that's fun. Lost Zone's a new meta. It's nice to see, you know, things shaken up in the uh, the world of the Arceuses and the Mews, because uh, they were dominating for a long time. I feel like from what I heard about, like, various tournaments and stuff, like, they still were, you know, big, but, you know, at least they have another variant that competes with them. All right. Zack with a gym challenge as well. All right, Zack, let's take a look at what you have. You have... Tepig taking on Bryson. And then also with Lost Origin... All Arceus and Palkia, yeah. And I've heard there's like Arceus variants where it's Arceus and Palkia, Arceus and Gengar, Arceus and Mew. Like, I've heard of like Slacking being thrown in as well. It's. I, I'm glad that the meta is getting less samey. Because I feel like that was like right after Mew came out, it was just 99% Mew decks, and that's all people ever played, so. Nice to see some variety. Not that I've done any playing it myself, but just from what I've heard. Two, three, four, five, six packs. Like we put on design the card borders. Yeah, no, I love that like lost zone smoke border effect. It's really cool. All right, Bryson, ten points to defeat Bryson. Yeah, I feel like Arceus being a colorless card just makes it super powerful because they it can just go in whatever deck and it doesn't care. Ooh, we got Hisui and Arcanine. That's one point for the Trainer Gallery. And Drapion V, three more. All right, four points from our first pack.
A Swordsman added five decks to the meta. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the most diverse it's been since, I don't know, since I started keeping track of what, like, meta decks were like. Oh, wow, there's only three comfy cards total. Well, it's nice Comfy's getting some attention. You know, I like seeing the underutilized Pokemon having a card that just happens to be super good in one meta condition. We got Chop and Cramorant. But yeah, I love that smoke. And the fact that on the reverse hollows, that the little bits of the smoke that go into the picture frame, those are reverse hollow. And then also on the hollows, all of the smoke stuff is also hollow. So it's like... They paid attention to the little details that I thought they might, uh, you know, might not notice. We got more Arcanine! More good doggo fetching us a point. And... Regular rare Hoopa. Ooh, and we hit a pack goal! So going. Yeah, Iskin, uncommon. Regular rare Parasect. Alright, come on. We need five more points. Two packs to go. You can do this, Lost Origin. Common ride on Glastrier Hollow, two points. All right, all right, three points to go. One pack. Let's do it. Let's see an alt art. Let's see a gold. We don't really need them, but uh, you know, let's get at least three points and then maybe get some cool stuff as well. Squovit coming. No, Cresselia Hollow for two points. Ah, Cresselia. If only Squovit was a Greedent. We needed to evolve, buddy. We needed the one extra point. I think Greedents are rare in this set. Ah, we're coming away with a pair of good doggos. We got Drapion V, hollows and reverses as well. Lost Origin getting us some hits, just not quite enough hits. All right. Moment to print some labels off real quick. And we will get going on a blind box for Zach as well. Ooh, some Dreaming Case 4. Clean up some pack wrappers. Turns out you guys are like neighbors or something, you know. Boy, that would be really weird to just randomly bump into your neighbor on a Twitch stream or something. <laughs> uh, 
All right, dreaming case number four. Let me go find where that is at. Uh, let's see, dreaming case, dreaming case, dreaming case. Everything is moved around. That's dreaming case three. Dreaming case four. I think that's the purple ghost one. I'll say. Streaming case three. That's streaming case three as well. That's right, we're on this shelf then. We moved everything around when we had went to the convention over the weekend, so I am learning where everything's new place is. Ah, streaming case four. So let's take a look at our options from the Dreaming Case 4. We got the Pumpkaboo on the cute little pumpkin. Like, this is a very season, perfect season set with October right around the corner. We got Mistrevious. We got the cute sleeping Gengar. That one's my favorite in this set. But, you know, minorly biased. We got Zigzagoon and Pikachu. We got Mimikyu with a whole pile of pillows. And then we got the cute sleeping Dreepy and Dragapult. So hopefully we find you the one you're looking for. Where's the tape? There it is. Why did you not go easy on the tape on this box? <laughs> to find crazy people travel from all over just to watch the leaves change. You know, I feel like I've been spoiled all my life because I've grown up next to the Rockies. So like... I see the mountains changing all the time. Like right now, they're starting to look like a little bit rusty. We're starting to get some of the reds and oranges to come in. How many packs are in the Quint uh, Quintessential Quintuplets 2? They are, they're the flat new boxes, so I think there's 16 packs a box. It should say in bold text on the product, like how many to buy a box. I think we have one box left of those, so. What do we got? We have... Oh, I see Miss Drevious sleeping with one eye open. Oh, that's super cute. Miss Drevious' little pillow. Let's take a look at there. Yeah, they've got the ruby topper. Like, I feel like they got the best design out of for the sleeping dome thing with like the black and gold and the ruby. Looks super, super cool. Also the blind box gum as well for you. But yeah, we are uh, down to our last few packs and stuff on the quintessential quintuplets. So if you are interested in those, we are almost out. <laughs> All right, so mischievous. My tape go. Sure, I tape the box back up so that way nothing uh, nothing comes loose. All right. And up next, we've got a bunch of alt art bundles. Four alt art bundles for Peter. All right. Let's pull some alt arts. Um, four packs. Four packs. Four packs. Yeah, I don't know if I can hold all of these in my hands at the same time. <laughs> I think there's quite a few here. 
do it. I can do it. Come on. Stretch for it. And Astral Radiance. Alright. We have... Four packs Battle Styles. Four packs Chilling Rain. Four packs Evolving Skies. Yeah. Four packs Fusion Strike. Four packs of Brilliant Stars. Ooh, a lot of Charizard. Hopefully that is a uh, sign of getting some alt art Charizard. And four packs Astral Radiance. All right, best of luck. I really like, my brain feels really good with the uh, alt art bundles doing the Tapu Koko V Segoy. Doing the openings in chronological order by release is just very satisfying for my, like, orderly desiring brain. Oh, after this pack, I need to do the uh, ladder goal update. Since we had asked about that earlier, and I totally forgot to because it was in the middle of a gym challenge. Yeah, Hound Doom. Licky licky. Alright, let's take a look at this week's ladder. Alright, so we've unlocked Chairman Rose and Full Art Malamar. And we got the Necrozma, or the Lunala Necrozma Fusion Full Art. That is our next goal at 350 packs. And then after that, we've got that Shiny Silvali, Rainbow Shaman, and Alt Art Honchcrow. And that ladder runs through the end of tomorrow. So hopefully we can get all those unlocked. Like our single striker Shifu VMAX. Sazbuck, Rainbow, Sandaconda, VMAX, Segoy, Pulling the Rainbow, Snake Cake, I was gonna flip him upside down, Segoy, Burrito snake. <laughs> yeah, Golet. Galarian Sloking VMAX. Oh boy. Oh, how appropriate. We have a Malamar in chat. He's on the ladder this week. Also, that Diglett card reminded me of the Diglett in the uh, that Charizard collection box coming out. It's just like a random Diglett on the side of the cliff, like, what am I doing here? I'm in the middle of a battle. 
And I, I love all of the Diglets just randomly showing up in the background of other cards. It's great. sideline seats. <laughs> I feel like he's a little close to the flamethrower in that new art one, but uh, he's a ground type. He resists the fire, so it's, you know, not as bad. It's not like he's the Alolan Diglett where he has to watch out for fire a little bit more. Wubat, Larian Articuno. Try Carvana, nice try. The baby. Zura, Espeon, V Max. Oh boy. Man, it is a VMAX kind of day. Now, why don't we, uh, you know, find maybe Umbreon VMAX Alt Art? Mm -hmm, hmm. Or maybe some Espeon VMAX Alt Art and the Fusion coming up. Might as well request it since we're on the uh, VMAX trend. Crustle, on V, Sagoy. Well, good to see Evolving. Very much awake today. It was very sleepy yesterday. So I know we talked a little bit about it yesterday, but has anyone else had any luck finding any of those, uh, what are they called, trick-or-trade packs? Because we have not seen them anywhere in our area. Keep seeing pictures online, they're like, oh yeah, I went to my store today, and there's just like th a thousand bags, and I'm like, yeah, no, that'd be real nice. We could pick up a bag, maybe two. I think we had enough kids last year that depends on how much... I think we had, like, 50 kids come by the house last year. But yeah, it's sad to see that door-to-door uh, -door trick or treating is slowly dying out in favor of the parking lots. Ooh, full art Serena Segoy. Like, I can totally understand parents, you know, wanting their kids to be safer and also not wanting to walk six miles with their kids like my parents did when we were growing up. But, because we had boundless energy as a kid on Halloween. We're like, more candy, I'll walk another ten miles, you know? Flip pull signature in the box. Ooh, yeah! We have yet to pull any of the quintessential quintuplet signatures, so I'm hoping, hoping that box has some. You can see empty display boxes of them. Okay, so they've had them in your area. Like, I remember, like, asking about them, and they're like, oh, yeah, we don't have those anymore. And I'm like, what? So, they, like, they, they had enough time to get rid of the display boxes. I don't know if they put them out early here or what. 
Pachirisu, Moltres. And it was always fun when you had your, like, you know... We started off with, like, pumpkins, but as we became older, we did pillowcases and stuff. And I just loved the feeling of, like, upending your pillowcase on, like, the living room floor and just, like... Seeing your mountain of candy and then, you know, if you had siblings, you'd be like, I'll trade you one of these, you know... Reese's Pieces for two of your Hershey bars or, you know... Doing all the bartering and bargaining... It was great. I love sour stuff, and my sister hated it, so I was able to get, like, all of her sour stuff, and it wasn't that, you know, I didn't have to trade much for it. Oh, it had massive markup on the trick-or-treat packs. Aww. Yeah, I wouldn't expect, like, Walmart to, like, mark up, you know, stuff like that. I wonder if they're going to print some more and there'll be, like, another wave right before Halloween and stuff hitting stores, so that way last-minute shoppers can grab some. That's kind of what I'm hoping for now. One chocolate kiss for three big candy bars. <laughs> At least online they did. Yeah, the online's been slammed really, really hard because they're so hard to find, even though they apparently made massive, massive amounts of it. I've heard tell of, like, local card shops having, like, purchased the entire display, like, cardboard and all, and then just setting up in their shops instead of Walmarts and stuff. Get the full set in one packs. I've heard as few as, like, 15 packs with, like, half a bag or something. So it's not a hard set to complete, so I was like, I feel like it shouldn't be, like, too hard for like you know collectors you know you get a you get a bag you get your selection complete and then you give the rest of the bag out to trick-or-treaters or something Choi, keldeo hollow open to snag the char yeah, charizard upc yeah we haven't heard anything on those ones yet like they are uh apparently very very heavily in demand and very very not printed to meet that demand, like every other UPC they've done is, has been. Supposedly there are more Charizard UPCs than previous UPCs, but, you know. That is only hearsay, and I think it might just be people wishing and hoping. <laughs> Got Pile of Swine, Galley. But yeah, the fact they released three unique Charizard cards in the same box, I'm like, how can you do that and not print more Pokemon Company? Like, real dumb idea. Bought two packs of them, got the rest, or the set, the rest are for the kids. House is known for the big candy bar, so went all out for Halloween. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, the area kids know us as the Pokemon house, because we, uh, we put, like, a couple pieces of candy, like, four or five pieces of candy in those, like, Pokeball tins, because we had a whole bunch of those the last couple years, because they came out with a set right before Halloween, and we're like, well, we don't have anything to do with these Pokeball tins. And oh my god, kids loved them. We got Hisuian Decidueye V-Star Sigoy. They printed five more. Ha! Ah. Good job, Pokemon Company. I'm, I'm sure that five more will uh, meet the deal. <laughs> and it was also, we had, like, a whole bunch of, like, Pokemon stickers. Like, just little, like, sticker sheets that came in various boxes and products last year. And so we threw in one of the stickers. And so we're like, what kind of starter would you like? Would you like a water starter or a grass starter or a fire starter? And they gave them, like, you know, gave them one of the little balls and stuff. It was so fun seeing, you know, like, what little kids would choose for their starters and stuff. It, it was adorable. I plan to get the Eevee collection box. I need to get more information on it. I might take a look at it, but I, I'm i not really sure on that one. I don't know if they've fully confirmed whether it's going to be, like, new ones or if they're they're even going to look good. I mean, if it's Eevee Lucians, it probably is going to look good, but... Earth Ring and Rapidash. But, yeah, like, there's no details on what the promos actually look like in that box, so... I will have to wait and see on that one. 
All right, we've got Hisuian, Decidueye V-Star, Glaceon V, Espeon V-Max, Galarian Sloking V-Max, Single Strike Urshifu V-Max, Tapu Koko V, Full Art Serena, and Rainbow Sandaconda V-Max. As well as all the hollows and reverses as well. Nine packs and a promo of each evolution. Dang. That's a pretty hefty number of packs. Hopefully they, uh, you know, come up with a not crazy gigantic pox, but knowing Pokemon Company, it's going to be huge. They are not ones for uh, space efficient other than the Marnie and Professor Juniper boxes. Those ones, ah, oh, they needed to move to that style of box. Like, they are so efficiently packed in there. I don't know. Maybe I take more of a note about, like, package waste and stuff than most people because I have to go recycle all the cardboard and plastic that comes out of those boxes. And it gets kind of heavy. <laughs> all right. A moment to print some more labels. We get some more Dreaming Case blind boxes. This time for Christopher. Do they actually have pictures of the promo yet, or is it just like a generic like placeholder thing? Because I. I am a fan of those cute Eevee promos and Evolution promos, but, uh... That is quite the box. Alright, let me go grab another Dreaming Case 4. Wrappers real quick. All right. So once again, we got uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. I think I called it Lion here last time, but Zigzagoon. We got Mimikyu. We got Dreepy and uh, Dragapult. Or is it maybe Dracloak? I think that one might be Dracloak. Yeah. We got Pumpkaboo, Mistrevious, and Gengar. Pictures and descriptions. Ooh, I'll have to go take a look at that later. See what they look like. Yeah. All right, we got our blind box gum. And... Whoa, it's my favorite in the set. We've got the super cute Dozing Gengar. He's got his, like, crazy, like, 80s shapes pillow. He just, like naps on that. It's also got... We've got like a... Uh, I don't actually know what pink gems are. But we got a pink gem on top of the purple and silver sleeping dome. I don't really know what to call them. It's not, it's not exactly a terrarium. Super awesome. Love the Gengar. That was the ones that came in the tin, so they are reprints. Is that confirmed? Because Pokemon did that the last time with the uh, Evolution tins. Is they printed the initial product image with the same promos that are the same cards that came out of Evolving, and then they changed them to a different promo image later on? So I I have lost all trust in Pokemon Company's like product images. I'm still very salty that I wasn't able to find enough of those uh, Evolution promos for you guys. Because we didn't order very many, because we thought they were just evolving reprints. They have confirmed them. Okay. Alright. 
I was kind of hoping for some new ones, but I guess it makes sense. I think Poke Beach mentioned that they were... They only had, like, one Eevee card that Japan has not seen yet. Or that has Japan has seen, but we have not seen. So that either we got every Eeveelution as a card first before Japan in that box, or reprint, so... Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Christopher... So, uh, if you're watching this back from the uh, timestamps, Christopher, I totally, uh, spaced on timestamping, because I got up to get the, uh, blind box instead of timestamping, so jump back, like, four minutes or so, and you'll see your blind box being opened. Alright, and we got a box of quintessential quintuplets. I believe it's our last sealed box, and everything else we have is loose packs from boxes that were shuffled, but... All right. Oh, I gotta go uh, return a blind box gum. Oh, now I gotta open it again and retape it. Sneaky little blind box gum. returned. Alright, so Quintessential Quintuplets Volume 2. What is the best way to do this? Boy, they really use the uh, the good plastic on these. <laughs> All right. So this is what the new Weiss boxes look like. They used to be like the more vertical ones. In case this is the first time anyone's seeing the new case boxes. All right. Getting like exercise Nino as your box topper promo. Loss of privacy. <laughs> I really like the like the way they did the design on here because like this just folds really nicely for recycling. The box itself is very glued down and hard to open up, but into the recycle box you go. All right, sixteen packs, quintessential quintuplets. Let's pull a signature card. I have not done a huge amount of research into the quintuplet set, so I don't know if they have a uh, like quintuple rarity or quintuple R or something kind of rarity, but let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, I, rem <laughs> I remember this episode. Uh, so many fun ones. We got Daily Routine Nino. But yeah, one of the characters in the game is a big fan of, like, feudal warlord history. Which apparently is a odd thing to be a fan of, so... I feel, like, so impressed by the author, or the artists in this set. Let's see. Set standard rarities, rare, double R, SR, triple R, SP, SSP. Okay. Turn that's all the booster boxes from Bushiro the same size. Reasonably, the box was changed for Weiss. Okay, so it's standardizing their process and the machines. Makes sense. I also feel like the packs, like, are less likely to get bent because they lay flat rather than standing up. So I feel like the cards are in better condition. Not that they were ever in bad condition, but, you know. 
Ooh, our first double R. Gentle and sincere. Itsuki. We also have Towards Her Dream, Itsuki. so we can uh, fit everything on here. But yeah, the one thing I dislike is they used to have 20, I think it was 16 boxes per case, 20 per box or something. So there's 320 packs, but now the case is 288 so they lost like 32 packs out of a case so it's interesting that they changed up how many you know packs are in a box in a case with the new style Got always prioritizing others yotsuba oh and there's a whole group shot there from the flashback or from the park it has been a long time since i saw quintuplets uh saw the episodes of quintuplets so yeah 16 packs per box in the new style so two stacks of eight in them whereas the old boxes used to have a full 20 so they also come in a weird like flatter hamburger case whereas they used to come in like more of a normal like UPS sized box kind of a thing like normal dimensions for a shipping box Now it looks like you stack two pizza boxes on top of each other Ooh, awkward love Ichika double rare And tutor of the quadruplets Futaru Futaru. I don't remember his name pronunciation. No, it's been too long. But no, this, shit, this show definitely hit very differently for me since I did a lot of uh, TA work and stuff like that in college. And I'm like, yeah, no, I have uh, I have definitely had to tutor people with all of these different learning styles. And <laughs> so it was uh, definitely a different perspective to watch the show from. TA work is hard. Yeah, in school uniform, Ichika. Also straightforward feelings, Crump IMAX rare. So this set has the climax rares in the back of the pack. I think one of the other ones when they transition to this style where there's the two hit spots in a pack potentially, the climax rares were in the middle spot. So they are I feel like still finding their formula or these ones were the way or they were all over the place and then they've settled on a more regular formula soon or recently we got in a kimono miku
Ooh, we got our first triple rare. A new choice. Segoy. Triple rare. The flashcards. And Pure Wish Yotsuba. I believe they took this one from the, uh, I think it's like the, either the opening or the ending screens. All right, triple rare. Vice cases are 16 boxes versus 20 for Vanguard. Surprising since they're from the same company. Yeah, I think it, I don't know, like, are the individual boxes different compared to Vanguard, or are they 16 packs per box as well? Because I feel like if you go from, you know, six, 20 pack boxes to 16 pack boxes, and you used to have 16 boxes in a thing, you would just go to 20 boxes of the 16 pack variety and keep your case size the same. But, you know, what do I know about packaging giant card games or anything? <laughs> Ooh, hello there. You are a little bit on the glary side. Let's see if we move you in the back. Can we see you better? There we go. Ooh, two big hits in a row. What the hell is this? This is a this is a CX card. What? Segoy. It's an OFR or QFR. So this is like the th this might be a special rarity. Maybe the like it says. I think it's a QFR or OFR. But it's a it's a CX rarity as well. OFR. Segoy! One of the case hits? Oh, that's awesome! Segoy! And then Pure Wish it uh, Itsuki. Segoy! Glad we pulled that one for ya. Yeah, so we only had three boxes total of uh, quintuplets. Because this was the set was on pre-order long before you know we started ordering more Weiss, and so we only picked up a very tiny bit of it. But we got a case hit. Segoy. Three. The set has three OFRs and one SSP. Segoy. Oh, that is awesome. All right, we need to put this one in the front row. Case hit. I like how both of our, like, super hits are sideways. <laughs> they make them a little bit harder to display when we can normally just do three vertical cards on our little mini ladder. So what does OFR stand for? Not familiar with the uh, Weiss terminate terminology on that particular variant. We got secretly making an effort, Ichika. Connor, welcome, welcome. Over frame rare. Over frame rare. That's cool. If you are looking for our packs, exclamation point shop. We'll get you the list of all of our various stuff on the shop. Do note that shipping is separate and it's under the send my stuff item. So if you're looking to get your stuff sent out, oh my God, this box is amazing. An SR as well, Segoy. 
This is insane for Weiss. Wow. We got, what can I do? Yotsuba. Oh, sorry, I didn't even like, I didn't even say that like what the SR card was. <laughs> I got so excited that we had an SR, an OFR, and a triple rare in the same box. This is Tea Break on the Sofa, Miku. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. Like, these hits are great. I just, I... Okay, you're just gonna have to share your room there, Fox Topper. You got too many big hits. They have frame rares for Weiss. Interesting, Vanguard is about to get frame rares in the next set. Okay, so maybe they're more unifying their style and rarities and stuff across the bushy road, bushy road, bushy road. Yeah, they're all their stuff. We got double rare, what she yearned for, Yotsuba. And someone who will fall for you, Nino. Crazy pull of Sig 2. I mean, I feel like the signatures and the uh, OFRs and stuff, they I think those are out of the normal limitations, so they can show up wherever in a case. So I think there's still potential for a signature, maybe? Let me know if I am incorrect on my Weiss rules. I think the... Well, actually, no, because we have a triple R and an SR. I thought there was a limit of... Well, I guess I'm maybe not limited to one of those. I don't know. Who knows what Weiss's system is. Triple, or sorry, double R, Budding Trust, Itsuki. And Pure Wish Miku. Man, are you gonna get a full set of the Pure Wish cards, all five of them from one box? That'd be insane. This is a really good box. Weiss can double, have double hit boxes. All right. Double rare. Possible, but not super likely. I mean, true, yeah. But the way this box is going so, so far, like I wouldn't be surprised in these last three packs if we had a signature. Frank words, Nino. The world as she leaps. Climax rare. I think this has been like the most hitful single box of uh, Weiss I've ever opened, that's for sure. Oh, we got... Oh, it's a Climax Common. New choice. I think we had the double R version of that same card earlier. We got Loves, Vexations, Miku. And a single lie. Climax Rare. All right, final one. New Year, Itsuki. But 
Good boy. Let's see, did I ever tell you Vanguard boost boxes are one SP per box for the current series, but 30%? Interesting. There's the top of the top loaders. <laughs> All right. So coming away with the Nino box topper. I'm just going to flip through all of the various rares and double R's. Like, the artists in this set have such trouble. Like, I swear, like, every episode, everyone had a new outfit and stuff. Like, it was not a standard, we wear the same clothes every single scene, easy mode for the artists. Tea break on the sofa, seeker rare, or super rare. Our out, or out, is it out frame or off, oh, out, uh, off frame. Out frame, I think it was. OFR, intensifying love. And then a new choice, triple rare. Over frame, that's what it was. Learning the terms, learning the terms. And also a set of the, uh, Climax Rares. Coming your way. Ah, oh, that was an excellent, excellent box. That was so much fun to open. So yeah, as a reminder, we have our Weiss sale going on right now. So all the different Weiss sets are on sale. Uh, we don't have any more boxes of Quintessential, unfortunately, but we do have some more uh, shuffled packs of it, and then that is all we have for Quintessential Quintuplet Series 2. But each one of the different products should have a, like, bold thing down under on the bottom of the, like, description section that tells you order 10 or order 8 sets to uh, ask for a full box kind of a thing. I should doing 15 top loaders per box because Japan to do that quite a bit for some of the booster boxes they open this month. Yu-Gi-Oh. Dang. That just means more good hits for you guys, so, you know, that's all fine. Also, I bet you the Weiss Star Wars cards, I bet you those ones were really pricey because no one expected them to get Star Wars as a series. So I feel like those had a lot of top loaders in them as well. Was it an original trilogy, or how far did they go with the uh, the Weiss stuff? Was it everything in the entire Star Wars uh, histories? All right, Niles, some evolving. All right, the good news is evolving has started to wake up, so I think hopefully evolving will be doing better than it was yesterday. Just knock on some wood there, but it seems a little less sleepy today. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're starting also off with some kind of a hit. What do we got? Lilligant. Trevenant V. Getting the spooky tree for the spooky month. We're almost in October. Star Wars actually a reprint? What? Oh, I had not heard about it previously, so I thought it was the first printing. Raichu, Kiram Hollow, did the Weiss one have any signature cards? Did they get like, you know, Luke and stuff signatures, or was it like voice actors in Japan, or... Uh, we will be live tomorrow, so no worries there. We got Drampa. Zorark Hollow. 
Tomorrow is our uh, sub giveaway day, so we will definitely be live. First print run was when Episode 7 came out. Okay, so a couple years ago. Like, actually quite quite a few years ago, actually. My brain not running on sequel time. <laughs> Hot stamps. Okay. Yeah, for the baby. Okay. Alright, you're doing a good job giving us hollows. Let's see those alt arts evolving. Full face guard. Gigalith. No leaf badge. And Gorgeist. Ah, I spoke too soon. We are coming away with Trevenant V. And a whole bunch of hollows. Did like three hollows, four hollows out of the six packs. Hollows in reverses as well. Jeez, the wind is starting to pick up outside out here. We've had, like, the weirdest, like, patch of, like, rainstorms, like, two or three times a week for the past month. We've just had, like, rain. It's so weird. We are actually up to our, like, seasonal average of rain, and we've had, like, drought years so many years in a row, and it's so weird to have, like, actual normal rainfall levels. As much as I'd hate a very, very snowy winter, like, we're really desperate for a good year of snow to get the uh, snowpack up on the mountains, because that's where a lot of our water in the area comes from, so I hate snow, but hopefully we get a lot of it this year. The good news is I don't have to shovel it currently, so, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. Man, growing up, we had, like, the worst, like, heavy, wet snow. Oh, it was backbreaking to shovel it. Like, you get, like, six inches, and it's, like, 400 pounds per shovel. Maybe not 400 pounds per shovel, but it's, like, 40 or 50 pounds per, like, shovel size. It was so wet and heavy snow. All right, three more packs of evolving. All right. Show us the Moonbrion! Boop! Boop! Evie Luck. Lucky Ice Pop. Almost done for the day, Shuya. Nice, nice. Have you pulled signatures out of the other Y sets we have? Um, I'm trying to remember which ones we've gotten signature cards from. I mean, Shuya has a very nice collection of the Attack on Titan ones, but we have, you know quite a few cases worth of the various Attack on Titan ones, so there are probably more signatures still to find in those boxes. Um, I don't think we pulled any Tokyo Revengers signatures yet, and I think we pulled, I want to say one triple rare, but I don't know if it was a signature for, uh, for the Fate set.
And then Ruby, we pulled some, but I think we might, there might still be one in there. It's hard to tell. Yeah, Cutie Fly. And Shift Tree. Evolving! Bad evolving. Hollows and reverses from evolving. See, I don't think we pulled anything from Don Machi yet. I don't think we found any of the signatures in that one. Slime, we had... We found one so far in Slime? But my memory is kind of foggy on Slime. Because it was a while ago. I don't know. Hopefully that helps. So many cards and so many different sets that it's hard to remember them all. I'm gonna keep like a list of which ones we pulled signature wise. See if we've completed any of the Weiss sets. Also, if anyone is interested in the new Weiss uh, Attack on Titan Final Season set, we do have really nice looking playmats. Let me go grab one of those. But that we also have playmats for that set. And it is quite good artwork on these ones. So you get like tons of characters on the building tops. And like a Battlefield in the street remnant down on the bottom. Honestly, it's one of the like most detailed Weiss uh, flame hats that we've had so far. I also think we have one flame hat left for Tokyo Revenger and one for the Fate set. I think we have one of each. She has five of the flame hats. <laughs> But yeah, so if you were in need of a playmat. I, I really do appreciate that Weiss on their playmats, they're like kinda like this Eevee playmat where there's no there's no like grid squares of where to play your cards and stuff like that. I always felt like that took away from like really, really cool background art when they had the guide of where to put all your decks and piles and stuff. It's like I'd rather have a really cool, possibly dual use like mouse pad slash keyboard pad kind of a thing for my desk than have this is very obviously supposed to be one of those paper inserts in your deck box kind of a thing, but they made it into an actual playmat. <laughs> Although admittedly, I know nothing about how Weiss's like cards are supposed to be placed and stuff, so maybe I could use the guidelines on that to get like a better idea of where things are supposed to go. <laughs> I just need to look up, like, a video guide of, like, how to play Weiss. <laughs> and I could, like, learn a little bit more about, like, what's good in the cards, and I can, you know, more properly appreciate which cards are actually really strong and stuff. Instead of which ones just have really, really cool art and hollows. <laughs> Which one is Don Machi? That is the Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. 
I believe it's some abbreviation off the Japanese title is where they got Don Ma Dan Ma Don Machi. It's like D A N M O T C H I or something. I don't know exactly how the abbreviation spelled. But it's uh, this set. Trying to look up what the Japanese name is. Because it's Dungeon Ni Dei Wo Motor Meru No Wa Machi Gateru Daru Ka. Jesus, that is a title. It is as long in English as it is in Japanese. So I can see where they got the Machi from, and I guess they just kind of took some of the dungeon part up front and slapped that together for the Don Machi. <laughs> I don't believe we pulled any signatures out of Don Machi at the moment. Unless you have managed to snag the uh, signature cards on uh, personal boxes or something. I'd love to see what the uh, signature cards look like on that set, because uh, they're always fun to pull. Alright, I'm going to be back in just like 30 seconds. I'm going to go get a drink of water, because I have not been hydrating enough, and I need to get better at that. much better. Alright. Were you wanting a box of the Don Machi as well? I think we have a box of that still. me just dropping a really heavy uh real heavy uh exacto knife blade <laughs> uh, i'm okay though it was closed <laughs> all right one box of don machi You get Bell as your uh, box topper. Fleeing from despair.
All right. 16 packs of Don Machi. It's been even longer since I've seen Don Machi than compared to uh, Quintuplets. I remember watching the original season of Don Machi, and I don't think I've seen any of the follow-up seasons. We've got Climax Common. A Man's Dream Hermes. Also a Climax Rare Luminous Wind. Trying to think of like, is that an attack? I don't remember that bit in the anime, but I don't remember most of the anime, so. Yeah, double rare, reason for her strength, ice. And Turf War Wealth. Like it, it's Kroto's magic sword, and it's just like, I think it's like the blacksmith <laughs> in a giant, like, haze of bright forge light. We got Lollygolidus Hestia. I if my new bank card came in yet. Ooh, hopefully. It's always rough when they have uh, long delays on getting new cards and stuff to you. Or when you get like a new driver's license and stuff and they don't send you the driver's license for forever and so you just like, I feel really like, like I know the printout version of the driver's license is totally the same, but everyone always looks at you more skeptically when you hand them the, the paper folded up rather than the actual driver's license. Ooh, Devil Rare, City Savvy Maiden, Seer. So, gift from the goddess Hestia. Also, can I say I love, like, sword blades that have just, like, ridiculous amounts of text on them? Like, that is super cool. Like, it's a fantasy trope of having, like, the, you know, glowing ruins, ruins on your sword and stuff like that. But it's usually, like, I don't know, 10, 12 characters tops and not, like, paragraphs. I like that variation. No, the Daily Bird plush does not come with a small hat. The, they're Stace Faces hats, and we keep reusing them on various other plushes, so they unfortunately are not included. I can't even tell you where she got them from because she doesn't remember. I think she got them from like a friend's like doll collection or something. Got little rookie Bell. I shall make you win. Climax rare. Also, I love the detail they have on like some of the background architecture in this show.
Oh, we got super rare Lolly Goddess Hestia. As well as unusual interest seer. the most awkwardly etchy uh, card out of the entire set. Double rare, we got Gale Ryu. And oh, I, I keep forgetting that there's it's not Pokemon, there's more hits later on. We've got Receptionist Day Off. I, Ina? I believe it's Ina. I learned how to pronounce this at one point and then I have forgotten. Every time I see reuse cards and stuff, I'm just immediately like, Decidueye? <laughs> it's got that same, like, leaf-looking cloak, like, top bit. The little, uh, ripples on around her head on the cloak. Double rare! Rivals, Hestia and Lily. Ah, damn it. Okay, I was about to say. Every pack of this set has been, like, opening like a dream, and this pack has decided it does not want to open properly. There we go. I can still get the cards out. We've got Adventurer Bell. between friends Makoto. Also the heroic shot. Climax rare. Don't do that again. There we go. They have, like, really great character designs on this set. Yeah, a double rare exploring the dungeon, Lily. And then encounter by the river, Ice and Hestia. I, I definitely felt a real kindred to Lily in the series when I was watching it. The... I can't fight in the dungeon, but I will gather and carry all your loot for you. It's like, yes, excellent. All the loot.
If anyone has not seen me play, like, dungeony video games, I am a little on the loot-obsessed side and will scour every corner of the dungeon to make sure I got everything, so... We got Supporter Lily! And Battle Practice, Climax Rare. It's really nice. I'm glad they are uh, featuring Lily pretty prominently in this set. I mean, I guess they are a major character, but, you know. Sometimes on certain sets, they just focus more on just a couple characters. Banana Gun Gengar plush win. Um, whenever we can find a banana plush that we can then sew to a Gengar. Because we have Gengars. We just don't have bananas. <laughs> got Cursed Clan, Wealth. I was trying to think to see if we actually had real bananas, but yeah, no. Just Judo, welcome, welcome, it's Ghost. The USA side today, so Ghost and Colin. Although Colin is working on some other stuff in the office, so it's me today. Double rare! Proof of trust, Hestias! Oh we also have X Adventure Ryu! Cunning Appeal Seer. Thought I tuned in after years of Japan and Ginkgo. <laughs> nope, nope, not Ginkgo. Yeah, Japan's on uh, usually Saturdays, Sundays, sometimes Fridays or Mondays. We're during the weekdays. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. for the feast, Loki! Why does all of anime's food look so good? Like, are they feeding the animators well enough? Are they just constantly dreaming about really, really delicious looking food? Or are the food, does the food in Japan just look that awesome at restaurants? These are the questions I want to know the answers to. Yeah, this is Don Machi, or is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? One of the longest titled anime series that uh, I've ever watched. So we got the Bell box topper. And here are all of our double rares and rares. And then coming away with the SR Lolly Goddess Hestia as well. This one a good one to watch. It's interesting. I feel like it wasn't like the strongest going into a dungeon series, but like you know, don't let the uh, the super rare card that we just showed off like you know make you think it's a heavy etchy show. I think it's. A little, but it's mostly tame. 
Like, it's not one of those ones that ruins the show just to sit there and be like, Oh no, then their armor fell off. It's also got some really interesting, like, takes on, I believe, the Greek and Roman goddess systems. Gods and goddess systems. I don't know, I think there's more series out than I've... I, more seasons out than I've watched. I've only watched the first season. But I remember finding it, you know, entertaining. I don't know. I, I also sometimes judge animes a little bit more critically and stuff, because I've seen so many different series. I'm like, this one ranks below this one, but above this one, etc., etc. But it's really interesting as a not trapped in the video game adventure one. Uh, I believe we have one more box. Let me go check. I think there's one more sealed box and then the rest is mixed packs. Yeah, one sealed box left of that one. Not much into anime, but I watched a lot back in the days. Ghost of Shell and Bebop never kept up. Ah, yeah, Cowboy Bebop was a fantastic one. Uh, I'm trying to recommend, let's see, what would be some really good recent-ish ones? Ah, uh, it's so hard to recommend, like, really good starter animes, or not, like, starter animes, but, like, get back into the groove of anime in recent seasons. I don't know. One of my personal favorites is Log Horizon. I think they did a really good one. Really good job on Log Horizon. Certainly the best of the trapped in a video game animes that I've seen in a long time. Although it does, in later seasons, seem to be a little bit more, like how do we survive at a political level kind of thing, so a little bit less dungeon crawling action compared to earlier seasons. Which, what were you watching? That time I was reincarnated as a slime. Slime is super good, yeah. No, I, honestly, honestly, I think slime would be one I would greatly recommend. It, it starts off so random as, like, a reincarnation-style anime, but the main character reincarnated as a slime, and it just is really good. And, it like, the first season, it's like, oh my gosh, this really expanded beyond what I thought was just going to be a fun, like, making fun of getting reincarnated as something series into, like, an actual serious one. And then the later three seasons are just, like giant expansions of the world and things keep getting crazier and crazier and it's just really solid. Ooh, Death Note. Death Note was a really good thriller. Not a huge fan of the last episode of Death Note, but other than that, like, Death Note was a super solid series. I feel like they could have had a different ending. Alright. One more box of Don Machi... to drop the blade this time. Movie Death Note was a huge letdown. Could have been so much better. Was that the live action? Was there a live action Death Note or was it just the uh, anime movie? Like, there's very few live action. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, like, there's very few anime that I tend to watch the movies for and whatnot, because most of the time they make the movies non-canon. If they are, you know, also anime movies. 
All right, getting a different box topper this time. We got Choice for Survival, Lily. Golden Boy and Ranma. I had the hardest time. I tried watching Ranma, but I could never find, like, enough episodes of it that were, you know, sequential. But this was back in the day of, you know, IRC chats and stuff like that. Was that the only way you could get subbed anime and stuff? So it might be easier to find nowadays. I don't think I've watched any of Golden Boy, though. Would you recommend it? I mean, obviously, if you want it brought back, I'm assuming it's a good one to recommend. Ronmo is horrible, to be fair. <laughs> I always heard everyone talking about it back in the day, so... Can you bring back OG Teen Titans? Yeah, no, OG Teen Titans. Not technically anime, but had animation quality rivaling anime. I miss those days. Golden Boy is Holy Grail of WWF. Interesting. You know, that, that's a, that, like, to me, that sounds like a very, like, positive review of it. I do enjoy watching, like, the kind of crazy animes. Yeah, Guild Receptionist, Ina. It's terrible, and oh god, no. Oh, never mind then, okay. <laughs> uh... A different style for a different era, I guess. Double rare, reason for strength, ice. And feast victor or victory feast, Tiona. You have to watch it though and feel super awkward while doing so. Like, broadest strokes without spoiling anything, like, what genre is it even? Like, I vaguely remember hearing its name, but I've never heard its name associated with a genre, and I've not seen, like, a screenshot or anything. Got past sins, Ryu. Why is your hood so like interesting? I feel like her hood is either patterned after a sunflower or something. The twins, or were they sisters? Which twins are you talking about, Groot? I don't remember that one from Teen Titans, but I'm sure it'll jog my memory when you explain a little. Ooh, secret rare, gift from the goddess Hestia. SR, or super rare, not secret rare. I like the background like tile pattern on that. Oh, oh dear, that is interesting. Oh, I keep forgetting it's not Pokemon. After the hit, there's another hit. We have X Adventure Ryu. Girls who are with Ice since they were opening this set. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I really don't remember too much about Don Machi. I just remember that they went into the dungeon and then they had to keep going because it was safer to go down than back up or something, and that is most of my recollection. And Loki is female in it. Those are like the plot points my brain remembers. So in the older Weiss sets, they used to have, like, the one hit, like, in the back of the back, and either this would be the rare, a double rare, a triple rare, or something. 
but the recent sets that come in the more flat boxes, they have started putting any additional hits, so every single pack comes with a rare. But if there's a double rare or something in the pack, it's actually a few cards in front of the rare, and then there's also a rare. It's an interesting system. It's odd that the bigger hit is farther up. It makes it a little weird to open and try to like keep track of the cards, but I, I'm always in favor of two hits in the same pack. We got Supporter Lily Rare. For like what the card set is, this is uh, Y Schwartz. If that was the question, not certain which uh, which thing you are referring to. There's a lot of craziness usually going on in Y sets. <laughs> Double rare Gale Ryu. Oh no no, still more hits, still more stuff, and then unusual interest seer. Reckon they're super not safe for work. This set has a couple, like, a little bit more pushing the etchy bucket kind of a thing, but for, like, nothing is nudity and stuff in most white sets and stuff. They do take screenshots from the anime, so, you know, if the anime leans towards it, like, you know, there's also, you know, bath scenes and whatnot, yeah. So, they sometimes take screenshots from that, but it's always, I don't know, PG-13. Whatever censored enough for television is in Japan. Story begins here, Belle and Hestia. Yeah, so like, bath scenes, stuff like that. That's about as bad as it gets. Favorite scene was when Hermes accidentally pushed Belle into the girl's bath. I don't recall that one, but I remember watching this show when I was more early on in my anime watching and stuff like that. And I really did not, I really was not watching it for the etchy parts, so I don't really remember most of those. I was like, go back to the dungeon, I want to learn more about the dungeon stuff. Oop, hold on. Wow, City Savvy Maiden Seer is trying to sneak away attached to the other card in front of them. Double rare. And Lollis, Lolly Goddess Hestia. Yeah, like this, this is an unusually etchy card for Weiss. Most of the time they're a little bit uh, more safe for work. Man's Dream, Hermes. Super duper important question, is Rimuru male or female? Uh, so pre-reincarnation, Rimuru was male, but I believe they are more like non-binary for the most part, it seems like. Their original humanoid form was kind of more, you know, gender neutral, and then they took the form of the, uh, oh god, Shiz Shizu, Shizuna, I don't remember exactly her name, the one with the ma the white mask, and after absorbing her, then, like, had, you know, more of a gender neutral female-ish form. We got Climax Common, Expedition to the Lower Levels. Yeah, I don't know if it's ever explicitly explained, or if anime just... Shizua, yeah, or yeah, something like that. Got Receptionist Day off, Aina. 
I don't know if they have if they have like gendered pronouns in Japanese. I think they do, but I don't know what they are. And most anime translations don't generally go into that detail anymore. The old fan dubs back in the day used to like they would put like little notes from the editor and stuff and explain all the details when it was, you know, a character identifying using different pronouns and stuff like that. But modern day ones don't tend to have those notes, so. I don't know what the official stance is. Double rare! Exploring the dungeon, Lily! Also, welcome, Renegade! And rivals, Hestia and Lily! Yeah, what is it, wealth for somebody that everybody hates in the show? I'm like, I like the character design, but I don't remember any episodes they were in, so I don't know the uh, know about the hatred of the character by the general community. We got Turf War, Wealth. Or is Wealth the one that everyone likes and it's the white-haired wolfy guy looking? That's the one that everyone hates. I feel like I missed that episode or don't remember it. Yeah, Goddess's Judgment, Hestia. So battle practice, Climax Rare. White Hair Wolf, okay. Wolf is... Badass Blacksmith that makes awesome OP OP weapons. Okay. This is the problem when they have a wolf character... ...and someone named Wolf in the same show. It confuses my brain, because I'm like, it's mostly Wolf right there. So, you know, obviously that should be the Wolf's name. Double rare proof of trust Hestia. And then we got Victory Feast Tione. Ooh, that's a different format than the other ones. This one is a one of the two that they have the Every Y set has a variant card where they have multiple card pictures for the same card title. This is the other Victory Feast compared to the one you got in your first box. And double rare. Alright, last pack. Little Rookie Bell. Alright. So coming away with the Choice for Survival Lily box topper. Timestamp sheet is messed up. What? Ah, I'll fix it. Quick look at all of our rares and double rares for this set. Then we have Gift from Goddess Hestia, super rare. I love the rainbowing around the character border, like that rainbow foil. It looks so good on these Weiss cards. Also getting all the Climax rares as well. Uh, 
All right, let me uh, see about fixing up that timestamp sheet. And then we got some blind box to open. Ooh, collection 10. That's a fun one. Let's see, timestamps, timestamps. What do we got going on here? Oh, damn it. Yeah, it adds to the first sheet in the timestamp sheet and I didn't move the, uh, the new sheet over. So it was adding it to the other one. One moment, I can fix that pretty easily. Where did last stream end? Aha. There we go. Timestamp sheet should be fixed now and should work in the future. Catching that one, Shuya, because I would not have noticed that one. Ooh, and we got some of our first packs of Attack on Titan Final Season. Request the rumbling be played once, please. What is the rumbling? I don't, I don't even know where I can get that, Chuya. Are we allowed to have that? Is Twitch going to get upset? Is that going to be pinged on the copyright stuff? Because Twitch has gotten a lot more aggressive about that one lately. All right, try collection 10. Where did you go? Terrarium Collection 10. So this collection features Squirtle, Vulpix on its throne, Mew in the clouds with the moon trying to do a uh, DreamWorks opening. We got Pikachu and Caterpie, Bulbasaur and Oddish, and Diglett and Charmander. It's like bones crackling to anyone that is. May or may not be in Halloween mood. I mean, I'm right there with you. Like, we are just a few days away from spooky month. I am ready for Halloween. I love the fall season, particularly the Halloween era of it. All right, let's see what we got for Cindy. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> Got our blind box gum, which I will not forget. And we have. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of blue. I think we've got the Surf's Up Squirtle. All right, let me open this up a little bit. Come on. Oh, they used a really good tape on this set. <laughs> Okay, maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe we're just gonna have to appreciate this from the box. So we got a Squirtle splashing about in the waves. It's 
Super, super cute. Also, each one of the blind boxes in this set comes with the little uh, trophy stand. It's got Pokemon Col Terrarium Collection on it. A nice little uh, stand spot to display it. So they all end up looking like that at the end. It's a really cool collection for their 10th, uh, not really anniversary, but 10th Terrarium Collection. Pinged on copyright because of it being a popular anime opening. Yeah. Current Digital Millennium Copyright Act laws kind of suck. <laughs> Coming from a YouTuber streamer point of view. Squirtle. Purple and try to buy it. <laughs> All right. Jeremy with 12 packs of Lost Origin up next. All right. Let's see if we can find some more Giratina alt arts. I am super, super hyped that out of the, what, seven alt arts? No, eight alt arts we've managed to pull, we pulled four copies of the Giratina. We have done a very good job of having the majority of our alt arts be the big alt art. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, yes. My brain. Pokemon are the best. <laughs> That's a great start right there. Coming off with the gold trainer gallery Mew. Sick boy. Let's see if I can get the sparkle. There's the sparkle. And Hollow Volo as well. Ah, gold Mew. <laughs> Do we still have our yellow border command, Shuya? I think we have some variant of it. We got Snorlax! Trainer Gallery Snorlax. Snacking down on potato uh, mochi. And Drapion V Star, Double Segoy. I just love how like good the artist drew Snorlax in this one. It really captures his like size and appetite. There we go, English. <laughs> I was wondering what the command was. I couldn't remember which one it was. Also, there's the other Snorlax in the set as he takes a nap after eating his giant dinner on the bridge. Do you ever compare cards? Uh, we've done a couple Bari Bari breaks where uh, we open the same set on our side as uh, Ashley and Ginko open on the Japan side. We do it like split screen. So we've had like some of the same hits on screen at the same time from two different continents. Those were fun. Ooh, we 
never pull this one! We got the Pikachu V featuring Red! Sigoy! Ah, Trainer Gallery is hitting well tonight! Mimikyu! Sigoy! Red and Pikachu. What? How can you say no to these lovely blonde borders, you know? Yeah. Sui and Basque Legion. Every card just screams sunshine and happiness. No, but seriously, if anyone has any, like, historical knowledge about why they chose yellow borders, I, I feel like it's odd that they decided to have a different color scheme on the English cards. It's not like you can't just instantly tell if it's Japanese or English. We got a whole variety of Weiss coming up. Mm. Yep, just a reminder for anyone who's just joining us, it's Weiss sale going on. So we got all the playmats, starter ki uh, supply kits, and packs for Weiss on sale this week. Poliwhirl. Radiant, Sneasler, Segoy. Origin. Let's see one more big hit. Or, you know, two more. We got two packs left. Oh, we're getting all the Pikachu. Getting sleeping Pikachu from the trainer gallery as well. Last year, Hollow. Final pack, Lickitung, and Drapion V. So good. All right, getting some great hits out of those packs. 
We got Drapion V, Sleeping Pika, Radiant Sneasler, Snorlax, Drapion V Star, Pikachu, and Red V. We also have the Gold Mew as well. Sick boy. Congratulations, Jeremy. Good goals. labels off and then we have the rumbling although we can't play the rumbling for uh, copyright safety reasons uh, Shuya would you like a uh, sealed box or did you want the shuffle packs Loose for now. All right. All right. What do we got? 16 packs, if I'm doing my math correctly. I am indeed. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, sixteen. My brain, for some reason, was thinking there was eighteen packs in a box and not sixteen. All right, let me double check that to make sure. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, we're good. Ghost can count properly at least into the mid teens. <laughs> Once we get above twenty, I run out of fingers and toes, and then we get into more difficult stuff. All right. What is that is just that is something jaw tight and sharp teeth we got double rare all right well this is very appropriate starting off with a double rare Levi for you shoe yes oh merciless assault we got Connie strength and resolve So I love their uh, motor gear um, design in the final season. Don't need bulk. Sounds like a plan. I was gonna say, if you've ended up with five playmats worth, I was like, you probably have your play sets. The new ODM gear, nice. Yeah, omnidirectional movement gear. I couldn't remember what the abbreviation was, yeah. We got Hanji Growing Suspicions. Okay, the silver and black, they just all look like badasses. Like, seriously. That is such a good look for them. Yep, seeing a little bit of Renegade. Sasha, high praise. 
Good to see the uh, the Sasha eating cards continue. Historia political meeting. Oh, there's like a whole like detailed schematic to the omnidirectional um, movement gear. We got Cart Titan providing cover. Dude looks like an alligator with four cook pots on his back. He is the Attack on Titan Universe's version of a mobile taco cart. Maybe curry cart or something. <laughs> also, bear in mind that I have not seen the final seasons of Attack on Titan. Colin has, so if I am making hilariously off, like, explanations of things, it is because I have no knowledge of these episodes. Got Hanji, Scout Regiment Commanding Officer... So go Hanji, you pull off the uh, eye patch super well. We got Gabby, involuntary witness. Gabby does not want to be here today. That is the face of, like, you know what? I should have stayed in bed. Ooh, what do we got? Climax Common. Entering the enemy airship. What? They got airships? That's awesome. Beast Titan, Supreme Artil oh, ah, Artillery. Also, Climax Rare, Declaration of War. Max Common Jaegerists. Historia Political Meeting. When is the final half of the final season supposed to be out? Is it spring anime season? Does anyone know? Or do we have to wait a little bit longer for it? Because I don't want to catch up with all of it until uh, I can just binge all the way through the end. We got Jean, or Jean, covering fire. Why does your new gear look so cool? Next year? Sounds good. It's 
like when you're playing baseball as a kid and you're using all like the hand-me-down outfits and then you get like actual like nice like sports like team gear and stuff and you're like wow we look like a team it's that kind of like transformation with that black odm gear Ooh, double rare we got armin lending a hand Armin, your cloak looks like six sizes too big for you. <laughs> yes, I have Armored Titan, Show of Resistance. Double rare, Sasha wandering the forest. So John strengthening resolve or strengthened resolve. Gosh, it is just pouring rain outside right now. So yeah, we'll have announcements on Discord or anything if uh, the uh, rainstorm or anything causes the internet to cut out. Just. Figured I'd mention that. I don't think it's likely to, but just to be safe. God, it is just pouring. So if you hear, like, the rain on the mic, that's what it is. <laughs> Ooh, double rare, Aaron, determined. Gosh, I love their, like, giant spike things and stuff. That is just such an upgrade to their gear. Hanji, Scout Regiment, Commanding Officer. Involuntary witness. Man, it's seen some stuff. <laughs> I love the face. Gotta say, Attack on Titan does some great facial expressions. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Got Sasha, high praise as well. SR. That is just like, that is quite the face to have right on the, the front of the... Double rare Sasha wandering the forest. And Levi, deep grudge. That man has serious face on.
Ooh, what do you got? Climax common. Sharp teeth. Yeah, no, those, they look pretty sharp. Not an incorrect titling of the card. We got Reiner trying to give up. The face detail is so insane. I mean, you know, I shouldn't have expected anything different than a, from a show that has the uh, giant titans with all their teeth and stuff. Like, these people have studied facial structure and stuff while doing the art for it. All right. So we got our rares and double rares. And then also coming away with Super Rare Falco. All right. Well, we didn't find you one of your missing signature cards, but hopefully we got you some good pulls. Are you missing anything on the SR front, or are you, like, full up on SRs? Not sure what the, uh, status outside of the Siggies are. Or not Siggies, SSPs. Because there's no signatures in this one, if I remember correctly. My brain automatically defaults Siggies as the highest tier possible of Y sets. And that's gonna cause some confusion, because I'm gonna keep saying it wrong. Cody up next with two packs. Attack on Titan final season. Alright, best of luck. Past Shadows. Segoy SR. Also have Colossal Titan. Painful sight from above. Double rare Armin lending a hand. Let's have Connie strength and resolve. All right. Well, that was an excellent two packs. with two rares, Connie and Colossal Titan, Armin, double rare, and SR Reiner. Segoy. Print off a few labels, and then we will keep on keeping on. A lot of Weiss coming up.
All right. Up next, we've got four packs of Ruby and six packs of Don Machi for Zachary. Oh, I haven't opened Ruby in a while. All right, four packs of Ruby. Yeah, come on. Ruby, why are you? All right, emergency button. Just like busts out of the pack. It is so weird to me to like open a pack from the front. It just seems so strange. We've got Ozpin Rare. There we go, that pack's cooperating. Oh, we got the best doggo! We got Zwei. So Zwei. Uh, Zwei, why are you too cute of a dog design? Neo! Neo Rare. I think that around 30 Pokemon Jumbo cards plus two binders will exceed four pounds. Um, it's hard to say because we do have, like, specific, like, packaging and stuff for the Jumbo cards to keep them nice and safe. Um, but regardless, you only need to purchase one Send My Stuff, and then we will shoot you an email if there is, you know, if it does go above four pounds, so it makes it nice and easy for you. But we will, uh, definitely check that out when we package it up and let you know if there's any additional shipping costs or anything. Not a problem. We got Sun Wukong Rare. All right, coming away with Zwei, Ozpin, Neo, and Sun Wukong. Well, a couple Climax Rares as well. And then you have include bulk on your Don Machi, so I will make sure to do that. Here is our Don Machi. We have six packs. This no, this one. Light blue. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Wolf Moon Charm! It's everyone today. Also, 16 months sub! Segoy! We are doing pretty well. We are in the middle of our big Weiss sale. So we've been doing a lot of Weiss and finding lots of awesome SRs and triple Rs. We got Q for the Feast, Loki!
That adventurer bell. May have just bought some for yourself. Nice, nice. We got double rare, exploring the dungeon, Lily. And Curse Clan, Wealth. Also, we just hit a pack goal. So going. Turf War Wealth. Got the story begins here, Bell and Hestia. Getting the cover art card. <laughs> I don't know about too many white sets, but I, I feel like there's not a lot of white sets that have one of the cards arts on the front of the pack. So I always have to feel like I point, need to point that out whenever I pull that card. Ooh, and finishing up with an SR, First Adventure Bell. I, I like how they close captioned his screams, all of the ah, and then ah, little ace. <laughs> We also have rivals, Hestia and Lily. Oh, I love the rainbowing on these SRs. Let's look at all the etching going on on that one. Not with rares and double rares. And then SR First Adventure Bell. So boy. Also going include bulk, so coming away with all the rest of that on the dragon. Or du dragon dungeon. It's not DD, &D. there's just dungeons, there's no dragons. Yet, maybe. Have not seen the most recent stuff. <laughs> there may be well may well be a dragon. Up next, we've got Justin with a whole bunch of ruby. All right, let me print some labels off so I can have my math done for me. All right, 20 packs of ruby. Um, so question. Did you want a sealed box, Justin, or did you want a um, shuffled packs? 
because Ruby is a 20 box pack, or 20 pack box, 20 box pack, ugh. 20 pack box, and you picked up 20 packs. So, the option is yours, either way. But we will default to the, uh, there's no note with the order, so we'll default to the shuffled packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Grab another tray. don't even remember what my count was at. <laughs> uh, brain. Why do you do this to me? I think it was 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, I was right. Alright. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Alright. Ruby time! Let's find some more signatures! Oh, before we do, let us advance our ladder goal, because we unlocked the next card. So we've unlocked our Necrozma GX Dawnwings, if I remember correctly. And then we're next, we're working on that Silvali GX at 500. So shiny Silvali up next. Starting off with double rare Nora. Sick boy. And double rare Yang, so boy. Yeah, just in time, Rousey. So first two packs, double rare Nora, double rare Yang. So starting off strong. Crow. So any favorite characters you're on the hunt for, Ralsei? Also, I love this mood, like watching the clock till class is over, like, been there. Feel that mood. <laughs> Got Penny! So going. We 
got Roman. Love the framing on this shot with the moon in the background and everything. Trying to get some SR or higher. Most everything else in the set now. Sounds good. Let's get you some SRs, maybe some SIGs. Or Ruby Rares. We have not pulled nearly enough of the Ruby Rares. I think we've only pulled two of them total. We got Double Rare, Jean School Dance. And every time I open this Ruby set, it makes me really want to rewatch the early seasons. Like, I remember most of these scenes and stuff, but I don't remember, like, all of them. Like, I just need a little bit of a refresher. Double rare ruby. Okay, let's all just group together then, shall we? There we go. That organizational system would not have worked for 20 packs worth of hits. <laughs> Double rare Weiss. So joy. Yeah, there we go. These Weiss packs just refuse to open. Got emerald. Double rare, Jean, school dance. Double rare, Lyren, man, hitting the double rares. You just need to hit that many uh, signature cards. We got the Z Doggo! Zwei! Still one of my absolute favorite cards in this set. It just captures all of Zwei's energy so well in a single card. You get your own little display column there, Zwei. You can hang out till we pull an SR. James Ironwood. Yeah, 
Roman. Double rare Weiss. Oh my God, Lost Woods themes for Sarah's song. That takes me back to childhood, running through those Lost Woods. Before I understood that you had to listen to the sound to pick which door to go through. Man, I had so much time in there. We got Cinder infiltrating Beacon Academy. Fun fact I see that I notice every time I see this card. Did you know that Colin actually dressed up as Food Fight Yang for a cosplay convention complete with turkeys? They were plush turkeys, but it was super cool. Winter Snee. All right, come on, Ruby. Big finale. We got Mercury. Ah. We hit so many double rares. Just did not find those SRs and up you're hunting for. Oop. Good doggo. But yeah, double R, double R, double R. Double R, double R, double R. Like, there's so many double R's in that set. So Ruby is the old set of Weiss, so there are, I believe, it was four double rares per box, and then every pack has a R. And then the new version, every single pack has an R. Or I guess it's at least an R because the double R can replace the R in the old version. The new Y sets always have an R, and then the double rare is in the middle, or SR or triple rare is in the middle of the pack. All right, next up, we got some more Attack on Titan final season for Shuya. All right, going with more loose packs. All right, if math is correct, we have another 16 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Just double check my math. Four, eight, 12, and 16, yep. So getting used to why it's pull rates. 
They, yeah, no, and especially when they change the boxes over, and plus every set seems to have sometimes different, like, like the Ruby set has RBRs, which is a special triple rare or higher rarity level, so there's, there's a lot to learn. I am still uh, learning most of it myself. All right, so Shuya, which are the two uh, super rares that you're missing, or the SSPs that you're missing? So I can know to get super, super excited for those ones when we pull them. Yeah, Con uh, Connie, Strength and Resolve. So I double check, because this was the... Uh, Make sure I didn't miss a hit, because this is the new Weiss worth a hit in the middle. Mikasa and Armin. All right. Yeah, Levi, drawing boundaries. Also deep grudge. This is what happens when he doesn't draw boundaries. This is why he don't draw his boundaries. It also looks like he's like, no photos, please. Thank you. Think you ever think of a way to do gym challenge with Weiss? I... Hmm, I don't think it would work very easily. I mean, we could have, like, two-point gym leaders, and it would just... Or we would just be like... I guess one point... No, because then the, the new versus old sets would be unbalanced because the new sets would have guaranteed one point per pack but could have a double rare and a regular rare which would only be... which would be three points probably whereas the old packs would have one or the other so they would be at a disadvantage. There's probably a way of doing it but we'd have to really look into it to try and figure out a way to make it fair. Got Reiner, haunted by his own advice. I think maybe if we only counted double rares and up as points, and then the gym leaders would just have like a two point, three point threshold kind of a thing. Got Mikasa providing support. Aaron Titan, alternate plan. Or could do that, yeah. If there's a double rare or higher, the rare doesn't get a point. Although that, I don't know, that feels rough, but it makes sense. Because I guess it's, you get points equal to the highest rarity card that was in the pack. I could see that working. So if you ended up with like a signature card or something, that would be the point card for that pack. You get Zeke, succeeding the Beast Titan. And Zeke, reliable Marleyan warrior. Forgive me if I am terrible at pronouncing the location names. Weiss mystery bundles. Um, it depends on what we have Weiss wise after the uh, Weiss sale, because. Uh, we are almost out of quintuplets. We just have a few packs left of that. Ruby is getting low, so, you know, there wouldn't be terribly much mystery if all we had was uh, three sets of attack on Titan or whatnot. Okay, Colossal Titan, painful sight from above. True, true. Two pack bundles. I don't know. Definitely things to look into. Yeah, 
Armored Titan, show of resistance. Mikasa recovery mission double rare and Gene overseeing the celebrations. Also, I love how old friends is just them punching each other. <laughs> Great title for that card. Also, 10 out of 10 for the artists on Attack on Titan. Like, look at that sunset lit cloud. That's so good. Seriously, their background and environment artwork is like on point. That and their face teams. Like, their face teams and the, the like scenery ones are doing like double time. Reiner, haunted by his own advice, double rare. Baseball. You know, that is a baseball. Thank you, card. I would I needed that label. Got Zeke, reliable Marlikin warrior. Also, spinal fluid activation. Ew, spinal fluid activation. Ugh. No, thank you. Like my spinal fluid deactivated. Thank you. Yeah. feel so sad. Cart Titan has 500 HP. It's the smallest number I've ever seen on a Weiss card. Uh, Levi, Deep Grudge. Gabby, involuntary witness. All right. Do you think I'm going to take a short dinner break after uh, Nicholas's packs? I am feeling my stomach starting to rumble. Why don't we pull some SRs and signatures and SSPs? I feel like that's a good. Jaw Titan, retaking of the Founding Titan. It is. Weiss cards have like the longest titles. <laughs> I was wrong, Cart Titan's not alone. Theo's got 500 HP as well, or power, or whatever it is, in Weiss. Double rare, Gabby, final shot. Reiner, trying to give up, rare. Ooh. 
We got a Titan Rare Shuya. We got Warhammer Titan facing the Usurper. I'm assuming TTR is Titan Rare. Sick. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. And it's a new one, Sagoy! All right. Look at that etching, like, that is so cool looking. Sagoy! It's got like a whole like rainbow layer there. I didn't notice that at first because it was like a darker background, but yeah, you can see like the orange and stuff. That is gorgeous. All right, Reiner, you can, uh, you can give up in a stack over there. We gotta put the uh, the, the war Warhammer Titan, Warhammer Titan, center stage. So TTR replaces SP in this set. Okay, so going. SR Gabby final shot. Look at the etching around that one. Like that is some motion etching, just like dashing at you with the gun. Also a very shiny wristband or uh, armband. <laughs> Sick boy. Got John covering fire. They're so good. I love the rainbow hollowing on the SRs. John overseeing the celebrations. My brain like derped and didn't, I was like, did I check for like middle card hits? And yes, I did. <laughs> You want to see a Titan rare? Yes. We got double rare, Levi, Merciless Assault. And Beast Titan, Supreme Artillery. So this is a Titan rare. Ooh, it's the creepy one. <laughs> it replaces the SPs in this set, according to Shuya. So super, super wow. great hit. I mean, the detail is awesome. Like, look at all the etching and stuff in, like, the little box like cube like hexahedron like background it's so good that's cool more please mm. <laughs> also silver says hi hey silver i was gonna ask if you uh needed a break or yeah i was just gonna grab some food after nicholas's packs but we have a nice little uh break right there so all right well i mean if you want me to open some i can yeah if you'd like to open some lice you're more than welcome to Good call, good call. <laughs> All right, Titan Rare. Let's have Gabby, final shot, super rare. Uh, 
Also, the Titan Rare was new to Shuya. Sugoi. All right. I'm going to go enjoy a delicious pot pie, which we're going to need to get more of because I keep eating them for, like, every meal because they're delicious. And quick and easy. Yep. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Where's my face? There it is. <laughs> it's right here ah! in Bush's face. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> hey, Wolf Moon! I mean, I'm sneaking in because I really like slime, so I'm like, hey. <laughs> Perfect. We can all enjoy it together. All right, how much are we doing? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yep. Okay, what do we got? We left a mess. Oh no! I didn't take <laughs> all my pack wrappers. Sorry, I like they. Z I zoned out of them. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> That's fine. Just giving you a hard time. <laughs> Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes. Alright, best of luck. Let's get all the things. What are we still looking for? Anything specific? Need more Ranga! Double Ranga, heck yeah. We got Secret Strategy, regular rare. Just an SP, any SP. That's fair. Those ones are fun. <laughs> Real fun. Besides the one y'all pulled me. Okay. Okay, I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I hope it's a different one. It was Benny Maru, I believe. I don't, I don't know if that was an SP. No, that means it was a triple rare. Oh, oh, I always skip the sparkles. Rimuru, show us your sparkles. Share journey. Well, so I don't know about you guys, um, but I have greatly been enjoying Belle and Bo on Ashley's Instagram lately. <laughs> they are... Extra cute. Oh, nope, not again. Shizu. Double R, Shizu. Baymer does not have an SP. How are you? Um, it was Rimuru. Uh, I guess it was a, a secret. SEC. Oh, it's back, and also Ghost, I only need five more Titan Rares as well. Awesome, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Cooking, we got a blow from above, rare. I have been out trying to, uh the mess that our apartment has become. <laughs> Shizu, share journey. Um, after packing and sort of unpacking for con, I tell everybody that we live in a box for it now, but not in a good way. <laughs> I swear it looks like we're moving. We have so many boxes. I don't love it, but it's worth it. Penny Maru, double R. Hope we pull at least one SSP tonight. That would be wonderful.
cooking. Cooking is great. We got tree! Rare! Alright, come on. Slime. Show us uh, some, some fancy slime pills. There's a sparkly Shizu. Request of the Kingdom of Filthwood. Did you hear about the day last weekend with five crashes? Also, I think that is the first time I heard you in the last three weeks. I've been around, in and out, not super much. Geld, rare. If I can be honest, I've been dealing with a little bit of like anxiety and stuff, so I have been stepping back from stream a little bit more, just to kind of help me get through that. So, gotta take care of our mental health, right? Braga! Intimidation! down to the last of it. Let's see some good stuff. Shizu, share journey. But yeah, five crashes in the weekend. That is unfortunate. I did see all of the, uh, the notifications on Discord and I was wondering if that was the case. I was hoping I was wrong, but I guess not. <laughs> Shizu, Conqueror of Flames, double R. After the battle, double R. Alright, last pack luck. Come through for us. Double R's for this round. Slime kind of holding back on us. Sadness. Colony was the chosen one. <laughs> Maybe it's my fault I took over and then we didn't pull anything. Ugly. Okay, we're going no bulk there. Oh, darn. All right, well, hopefully we can get some better luck going forward. Jamie, Justin, let's attack on Titan and Ruby. All right, Jamie, what are we doing? Final season and we've got... 16 total? Alright, where'd you go put them all?
just double check that I got the right number. 16. Excellent. Alright, Jamie. Best of luck. I do have to say that uh, when I went to go make the graphic for it, the uh, these packs, there wasn't a good pack art photo, so I had to take my own, and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Even though it's like a very simple photo. Oh, what's this? Sasha! Oh, oh, I don't like this card. Triple R though, Sugoi! Mmm, feels. It hurts. And the Armored Titan Rare. Right? Major spoilers, but uh... Not quite sure how to avoid that one. <laughs> when it's uh... A hit card. But hey, it's new! Sugoi Triple R! Sasha! Same, Silver! Not the potato girl! I do apologize if this is a spoiler for you. I'm just not sure quite how we uh, could have avoided that one. But I do feel like, uh... Oh, did I forget to timestamp? Thank you, maybe. I'm out of practice. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of spoilers in this set, so if you are trying to be spoiler-free, uh... Maybe look away for a minute. <laughs> Levi, keeping watch. Although I gotta admit, <laughs> not seeing the show, like, it's very incoherent. The oh, cards, yeah. So, like... Like, there's a lot of visual spoilers, but you're just like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Angstiest teenager note, though, in this season. I just love it. <laughs> we got John covering fire. Rare. Love him in this season. I think they did a good job with his design and you know definitely expressing that he got older. Yeah, the cart titan. I think I heard that Ghost compared the cart titan to a taco cart. Was that accurate? Because... It looks like on one of the cards, he looks like an alligator with four big like chili soup pots <laughs> on his back. I love that. Uh, I love that. Especially knowing what exactly the cart titan is. I love it. <laughs> look related even though they're not. It's kind of weird. Gabby involuntary witness. Trauma. This whole show is full of trauma. Traumatized people. I was gonna say the faces are really great in this set. show to watch though. I'm like kind of out of anime for the moment. You know how you always make your your list of things you're gonna watch but then you're like not in the mood for any of it? That's that's me right now. More Cart Titan. Muscle Titan. Painful sight from above. The 
very long neck. Stretch. It's like a dinosaur. Did I miss a double R? Shoot. Please hold. Oh, yep. Arm in, come back. Thank you. Armin lending a hand. It's real tricky to get used to that new, like, I, middle of the pack. <laughs> I don't love it. I'm not gonna lie. Throws off my flow. I catch it and then I fan the rest of the cards like it's a Pokemon pack after the hit. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a second. I don't know where to be expecting it anymore. Levi Rare. So angry in the show all the time. John. I do have to say, um, hold on, let me finish this back. Aaron Titan, alternative plan. Rare. Um, I do have to say that the, uh, the battle scene that they took the pack art from was really good. I really enjoyed that fight. It was kind of sad, but also like, I don't know. It, I feel like it was done really well. Just realized I haven't watched, um, my favorite anime yet this year and we'll plan to watch it this weekend. That was fun. Flock. More flock. got to pull something cool. I want to pull some, I guess, well, I want to pull something that doesn't traumatize me. Oh, we got double R. Reiner. Haunted by his own advice. How sad. <laughs> and Levi Rick. left. Come on, Titans. Titans, go! <laughs> Here's your Aaron fan service if you need it. <laughs> Aaron rare. And one more. That was, that was, that was good. Emergency escape hatch. Oh my goodness. Come on, Pack. You are the last one. Stop being dramatic. Resistance rare. Alright, going no bulk. But we've got all of the rares and uh, double R's here. And then the triple R with a uh, fatal wound. I feel like the sleeve really dulled the, uh, the hollow 
following on that one, but it does look pretty good in person, I promise. So at least congrats on that one, Jamie. Alrighty, next up, let's do some Ruby, Justin. Got 12 packs of Ruby. Best of luck, some signatures. Hey, Avian gifting subs going to Sebastian and Ari Stahl. Thank you so much, Avian. Just in time for tomorrow's sub giveaway. <laughs> Comcast gave you a free gift card. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks for spending it with us. <laughs> Salem Double R starting us off. And also best of luck to Sebastian and Ari. Like Ghost said, just uh, just in time for our sub giveaway. Alright, Comcast. We are Comcast. Come on, Comcast, where's my free stuff? <laughs> Usually they annoy me, but I will take free money. That is a vibe. That is a definite vibe. <laughs> Adam Taurus Rare. Comcast Rewards has a bunch of stuff right now. I didn't even realize there was such a thing as Comcast Rewards. Oh yeah, they told me about it at length when they called to complain about the internet being down the other month. Oh really? Well, can we get any free stuff from them? <laughs> I mean, I didn't realize they had Twitch gift card stuff. Like, when I looked, they had, like, really crappy <gasps> stuff. What is that? Triple R, new friends! What? Sigo, it's the whole team! Oh, it's like a little Polaroid. That, that's a really cool card. I love it. Team Ruby. Congrats, Justin. Even got Weiss with a little smile. It's a little one, but it's there. So go, oh, and you needed it even better, even better. Oh, they're so cute. Precious besties. All right, Ruby fans, uh, tell me. Uh, tell me, is Ice Queendom, is it any different than, uh, oh, hold on, we got Nessar, Adam Torres, Segoy, two hits in a row. Is Ice Queendom any different than the regular Ruby series? I mean, I know the artwork's different, but is it basically just watching the show again? I needed that one, but boo Adam. Agreed. He's not a good dude. He's got a cool design though. I'll give him that. Like the whole black and red color scheme. Pretty sweet. <laughs> and I get a free present by my name in chat. Yeah, get subs. like the first episode of Ice Queendom, uh, but I didn't get any further than that because it felt like really repetitive. Oh, if anybody has seen it, let me know. Raven, rare. Really looking forward to season 9 coming out next year. Hopefully early next year, but <laughs> if I have to wait, so be it. Come on. No? No? Alright. Next 
struggling on all fronts. Super Saiyan. I wonder if they did model a little bit of Yang after Dragon Ball. Or Dragon Ball Z, I don't really know the difference. It's why rare! I didn't really end up taking a break after those packs because I kind of forgot, so <laughs> feel free to relax for a little bit. I'll keep going. <laughs> Got Ironwood Rare. Pikachu! Uh, mixed UTV, thanks for the follow. Welcome. I mean, who might to interrupt your fun opening other things, so you know. Nice. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, just bought something. Awesome. Um, if you just bought English packs, then we will open them today. Um, if you bought Japanese packs, um, the uh, Japanese stream team will be live um, on the weekend to open those. We got Cinder, Infiltrating Beacon Academy. One more. And strong, Ruby. And we've got Winter. Winter she. It was a mystery thing. Um, I don't see your name on my queue currently, but it could still be loading, so. Give it a minute, see if it pops up, and if not, we can check. Alright, going no bulk. But I've got two new cards for you, which is awesome. Congrats. Uh, R's and double R's here. Plus the Adam Taurus SR. That hollow pattern in the background kind of makes it look like a rain of knives. <laughs> And this awesome picture, new friends, Team Ruby, uh, Triple R. So, congrats on those, Justin. From the bundle thing, it might be under the name Bruno. Okay. All right. Next up, going back to Wolf Moon Charm. Do more slime. Ah, looks like you're on the Japan queue, which would be this weekend. Nice. Yeah, so for anybody that doesn't know, we do have two dif uh, different stream teams on this channel. We have us here, Bari Bari USA. We open uh, English cards, Pokemon, and Weiss. Um, and then our Japanese stream team is led by my cousin and her husband. Uh, they are Bari Bari Japan, and they live... Um, in Japan. I can't say they live in Tokyo anymore because they moved. Nearish Tokyo. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. like a couple hours away from Tokyo. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, maybe not so nearish. Um, but yeah, they live in Japan and they open uh, Japanese cards, all sorts of different sets, Weiss, uh, mainly Pokemon. I've uh, been doing a bit of Yu Gi Oh lately. Closer to Tokyo than here. You know, that that is definitely better. Right, where is my slime? All right, how many are we doing for this round? Sixteen? This 
Is that a box size for the old one? I don't know. Uh, 16 is the box size, or... For slime? Slime is, I think, a 20 a box, okay. old one. 16 okay. is the new box size for, like, the new set, the flat ones. Alright, then we'll do some loose packs for slime. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Speaking of Ashley. Uh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hey, Ashley's here. We use the same account, so that's uh, that's not me. That's <laughs> Ashley from the Japan team. Alright, round two, let's go! Best of luck! I guess I was summoned. Yeah, uh, Mixed TTV just uh, picked up some packs. You can open this weekend when you guys are live. Maybe a mystery bundle or something. Alright, be good to us, slime. Double R, Shuna, Tribes Princess. I was bragging about your kitties earlier because they are the cutest fluff balls. And I'm very jealous. I want to steal them. <laughs> <laughs> Double R after the battle, Rimuru. Sounds like a new adventure instead of the Sugoi Stream raid. It's now the, uh, the quest to steal the kitties. <laughs> we thought we were visiting you, but really we were just coming to visit for a grand heist. <laughs> <laughs> God, Pursuit Millum, rare. Oh, Ghost, did you know that, uh, is it Belle, I think? Belle plays iPad games. What? <laughs> uh, I think it's on my, on their Instagram story. I have to, uh, I have to show you before it goes away. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> That's a crazy. <laughs> God, the mysterious demon black. Oh, I want to see. Bell, the gamer cat. <laughs> I want to see more of this guy because he's very. Yeah, I want to know like where his story's unknown. going. He looks like he could go super evil, but so far he's just like, yes, sir. All good here. <laughs> just a particularly evil-looking butler. <laughs> She does! In fact, she is pawing at my phone right now. <laughs> she knows the screen. Got uh, Power to Protect Comrades, Rimuru Rare. Are they like Kit Kat specific ones, or is she like playing Bejeweled or something? Um, I think it's like an animation of like a little mouse that rolls around on screen. That's awesome. Download the same app and plays it. <laughs> <laughs> so a quiet anger. We're gonna do a bell stream one day, yes. So she can play on stream. Show off her skills. Mm. Fighting Spirit Millum. Come on, slime. Oh, Ashley, before I forget, what time does Ginko usually play Splatoon? You know, he asked me that same question when we were on the phone last night, and I told him that you just played Splatoon anytime you weren't working. <laughs> that, that's fair, yeah. <laughs> Shion, Shion Rare. Been grinding my salmon run. I'm up for some gaming. Rain fire, CCG, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Segoy. Welcome, raiders. Yes, welcome, raiders. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of Weiss right now. We're mainly Pokemon, but we're having a Weiss sale at the moment, so. Oh, guild. Guild rare. We 
probably plays in the morning our time to like afternoon. We wake up in the morning now, <laughs> so maybe uh, I'll, I'll get on Splatoon earlier in the morning. Successor Rimuru, double R. Hey, Rainfire! How goes the polls? They're going alright. Ghost had better luck than me so far, though. <laughs> Titan Ray from the new Attack on Titan set. But, uh, hopefully, hopefully they pick up soon. <laughs> I, I need some, uh, some better luck for Nicholas. From Ruby. That's true, I did okay for Justin. I haven't done okay for Nicholas, though. <laughs> well, we got like six, seven packs. Let's fix it. That's fine. I think of what other ones are in this one. Isn't there like a Shuna Pikachu. signature or something? I, I was gonna say, like, I was thinking that one of them had the signatures. Shuna's adorable. We got the uh, partner sharing body and soul Rimuru rare. Great Sage. Mm. I like it when the Great Sage gets sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Magic mask. Say hi. Say hi. There's something. I like how the little nose is hollow. It's Rudolph. <laughs> it goes red. <laughs> Remember the red nose reindeer. <laughs> A little bit early in the season for that, but you know. <laughs> so good though. Slime has been holding out on us, so it is good to see. Something a little bit better. There's Rudolph again. <laughs> Different person. Uh, oh, yep, Aaron. Aaron, feeling a respect rare. It's like 90% of the card is not hollow. That's just like asking for trouble. <laughs> Asking for me to miss it. There, there's a few sets across Weiss that have like one card that is so like well centered on the face. There's no background to hollow. Yeah. <laughs> they need to like put the hollow in their eyes or something. Get the sparkly eyes. Uh, glare. Rue. And the last but not least. Double R. Child on the inside? Question? <laughs> what is raining again? Yeah, we've had some good downpours today during stream. Hey, I'm going no bulk. Rares and double uh, R's and double R's, and the anti magic mask with the shiny nose. Sagoy, congrats! Sagoy! I probably do like one more and then I probably should switch out. Okay. Keep your wrist well rested. Mm hmm. Thank you. John, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome. Is it John double 007? Quadruple 07? I don't know, I can't see the user. No, just double. There's two sets of 007s. Ah! <laughs> also, of... card fight! Gifting a sub to Rainfire CCG. Thank you for the gift sub. Uh, we are running our sub giveaway tomorrow, so any active subs are automatically entered into that. We're giving away a Machamp alt art, so should be a good time. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Jamie, I think we had a box for you. Is that? Yeah, let's go box. All right, here's the box. more streams this week uh yeah we'll be streaming tomorrow as well right yep i think it's thursday today i forget what day of the week it is yes today is thursday we're gonna be all fancy with the box and like set it up let's do it box toppers we've got Armin and Aaron the chimney series wrenching pads so there you go I'll just uh, let our plushies hold them I don't know if there's room for the box but we're gonna try best of luck Jamie here we go Fuzzy. Japanese wise is you don't have to read the four mile long title because <laughs> <laughs> you can't you're just like oh that's that's nice artwork I don't know what it's called but it looks nice yeah. oh, oh, oh sir sir you are sparkly Reiner and we get the uh, jaw Titan as well to read the title and then there's the rebellious part of me that's just like nah that's that's too much effort <laughs> there's a lot going on with ice cards for sure Fuzzy Titan. <laughs> Sounds less intimidating that way. Colossal Titan. Instead of the Beast Titan, he's just like the Teddy Bear Titan. He doesn't act like that, but uh. He looks but out like of all him. the Titans, he would make the easiest plush. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know if any of them should be turned into plushes. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. Cause you know then that your three-year-old will be like, I want a Titan plush, I want to take it to, to sleep, and you're just like, please stop cuddling that. <laughs> Sasha, high praise. I I'm glad to have come up with a greatly <laughs> horrific product idea. I mean, maybe like the chibi versions, like the box toppers, you can have like a chibi Titan plush. Let's not have realistic Titan plushes. <laughs> Ryan, 
Shiner, trying to give up. Rare. And then you know there'd be a news scandal where some kid gets in trouble for bringing their plush to school and the teacher's like, it's naked. And then you try to explain anime logic and anatomy to your teacher and then you just get into more trouble. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nope, 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 that was... Sorry. We got Aaron Titan. Declaration of War, double R. And Levi drawing boundaries, rare. Yeah, I gotta say, this one is not a great screenshot. It's really hard to tell what's going on. It's like, you're like falling over? I think he's just screaming. He does that a lot though. There are plenty of other screenshots you could pick of Aaron screaming. <laughs> but okay. I'm sure there's a YouTube compilation that's like 20 something minutes long of Aaron screaming. <laughs> Probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, YouTube. Anji. Sasha, wandering the forest. Oh, boy. So Pulled fun. a couple soup, uh, double rares of that for she earlier, so Segoy. Oh, uh, the SRs have the best hollows. Maybe it's just Weiss in general that has the best hollows, but once you get above like a double R, they're so cool. Sasha. Titan rare, Aaron Titan alternative plan. So and we got the the teddy bear Titan in the back too. <laughs> See, you had just as good luck a Titan rare as I did. So oh, we gotta put Aaron in a sleeve, sir. There you go. Catch the light. Show us how cool the hollow pattern is there. Are very scary, sir. Congrats. <laughs> Tang rare TTR. Very nice. Oh no, there are AOT plushies. <laughs> Someone else came up with the idea first. Are they a chibi? Like humans? Sure, I don't care. You can have human plushies all you want, but the, the titans... I am afraid. Aaron's two E's, right? Hmm? Yeah. E-R-E-N? Connie? Processing trauma? Historia! They're very shiny. Titans and humans, oh boy. <laughs> Maybe I just I just won't Google it. I'm pretty sure that's what Ghost is doing right now though. <laughs> oh, we got Zeke. Reliable Marlin Warrior. Alright, we're getting down to the last few packs.
Double R Falco, turning point. And Gabby D. Rare. I don't know, I just. I had a hard time, like, enjoying the. the new, like, kids characters. In the final season of Attack on Titan, I was kind of like, I'm already attached to a set of characters, so this isn't working out for me. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to say too much more than that, because I don't want to give up too many spoilers, but uh, I guess if you know, you know. Last one. All right, last one for the box. Baseball and Levi Deep Grudge. One Titan Rare and one SR. And Noble. Box Toppers, Aaron, and uh, Armin. Well, I forgot your name for a second. Aaron Titan Alternative Plan Titan Rare and Sasha Wandering the Forest SR. Congrats, Jamie. Oh boy. Are you up for a little more? Yes. Yeah. I am good to go. I'm well rested and fed and all that. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I will turn the ruby over to you. All right. I did lower the camera a little bit, so if that's too low for you. I will adjust that because I tend to hold too high, yeah. so. <laughs> uh, all right. It's not that bad. Get an example card and see where my resting position is. Armrest. And... I just like to rest my hand on the, on the table, so. Mm. Yeah, no. It's fine. Everyone in chat can yell at me if I'm, like, cutting everything off because I'm holding it way too high. All right, Ralsey, we've got 10 packs of Ruby for you. All right, I need to print some labels real quick. Ruby.
right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten packs, Ruby. All right. Let's pull you some more Ruby rares or signatures. Okay, maybe that actually is a little low. Let me fix that. Much better. Starting off with double rare Salem. So going. James Ironwood and a school dance. Double rare cinder, complete maiden powers. Emerald. We got Yang Vital Festival Rare. Love the background on this one with all the fire pillars. Emergency lever. Got Raven. Double rare Blake. All right, let's see some more Ruby rares. We got Zwei, the best doggo. It might be like the third Zwei I've pulled you, but I'm gonna celebrate everyone because Zwei is awesome.
A double rare, Jean. School dance. All right, final pack. Got Neo. Oh boy. All right, coming away with some rares. And four double R's as well. Unfortunately, the ruby rares still remaining elusive. Like look back and just find all the episodes with Zwei in it and rewatch those. I think that would be a uh, fun little like mini segment of the series. Honestly, Zwei's not in that that many episodes. Like he hangs out for a bit and then goes and back to Ruby's dad and just kind of doesn't show up. But he does have an awesome train battle scene with Ublex, so, you know, bonus points for that. And he's on that whole field trip, because Penny, or, uh, Ruby sneaks him along. <laughs> All right. Get some Weiss final season for Zack. Four packs. Let's have some blind box and some gym challenge coming up as well. All right, four packs. Attack on Titan final season. Oh, these ones open so much nicer compared to like some of the other sets. <laughs> The faces. More the faces. We got Gabby. Ooh, fatal wound. But I love the whole gang in their like really really awesome uh, new suits. Just a little grim title for the card. <laughs> Got Beast Titan, Supreme Artillery. Did you just have like handfuls of rocks? Is that what his artillery is? Yep. Well then. I mean, I guess if you have a Titan level strength, you know, throwing a rock still will really, really hurt. I'm not sure if I would call it Supreme or Alt Artillery, but you know. It's artillery. Uh, true, they might not be tiny rocks. They're probably, you know, eight to ten foot rocks, yeah. Yeah, Falco, turning point, double rare, Segoy. And Colossal Titan, painful sight from above. I really like how they decided they wanted to put the Attack on Titan Final Season logo. It's hard to see, but there's the Attack on Titan Final Season logo right there. So they're like, let's put a really, really long card title and our series stamp too. 
We can fit it all on one, like, row, right? We can still read it. Double rare. What do we got here? We got Climax Common Reunion. We got Zeke, Reliable Marleyan Warrior. Am I saying that right? Do you watch the dub or the sub? Hmm. Alright. Coming away with some double rares, Falco. We got single rares. And going include bulk, so coming away with all the cards. A dreaming case four for you. Clean up some pack wrappers real quick. Oh, where to put the dream case four wrapper right here? All right, dreaming case number four. Once again, we've had a few of these today, but we've got Pumpkaboo, Mistrevious, Sleepy Gengar, the Galarian Zigzagoon, and Pikachu, Mimikyu with the Pillow Pile, and Dreepy and Dracloak. Oh, right. Uh, where's the blade? You guys used a good tape. There we go. All right. We have... Oh, we got some blind box gum, and... Oh, it's the cuteness. We got the Dracloak and the Dreepy taking a little nap together. Oh, it's so cute. They've got, like, this little, like, cloudy sky pillow. And... They've got, like, a clear blue crystal on their steel blue and silver little dreaming case. Also, I should have mentioned that each one of these dreaming cases has, like, a different symbol and stuff. So this one has kind of, like, a double dragon wings symbol on the little front bit. They all have a little bit different symbol there as well. Oh, look how cute they are. Why do Pokemon sleeping just, you know, bring out the cuteness? And don't forget the blind box gem. Oh, up there. There we go. Pillow in first, then fold the plastic over. Dracloak and Dreepy. Also have a gym challenge for you, challenging Bryson. All right, 
it's time to get some revenge. I believe we had a narrow loss. I think it was 9 to 10 last time. Yeah. Bryson being very mean. Trying to take him down a peg. Battling out with Lost Origin. All right. And your starter is... Do, 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 Tepig. All right. Do I have more trades of Lost Origin? Yes, I do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six packs. We need ten points. Starting with a right side up Inke. Just holding the card upside down. <laughs> Ooh, Spirit Tomb! Alright, one point for the Spirit Tomb. And Glorian Berserker V, three more. Alright, strong four point starting pack. Kingdra, Reverse Rare, one more point. We get the Rare Bouffalant. Shop it, Common. Toad, regular rare. Got Hariyama, uncommon. Regular rare Gly score. All right, come on, Lost Origin. We need the points. Radiant Gardevoir, one point. Regular Rare Cliff Fable. Alright, last pack. We need four points. Come on, show us a gold, show us a rainbow, show us a full art. Get us those points. Uncommon right on. Ah, hollow barbarical. Two points. Ah, uh, we were almost there. Lost Origin, come on. We need just a couple more points today. Bryson, holding steady. We got Radiant Gardevoir, Spirit Tomb from the Trainer Gallery, Good Larian Preserker V, and the Hollows and Reverses. Oops, sorry, knocked over my tape. Wrong tab. 
All right. Up next, looks like we got some ruby. All right, let me uh, get a label printed so I can see how much ruby that is. That is 30 packs of ruby, which I think may be all the ruby we have left. I have to double check. I don't see Ruby List on the store anymore, so I think that might be the last of our packs. All right. <laughs> Excellent use of the Dr. Evil there. Well, hopefully we find one million ruby rares. I don't know. I, I, I don't do the voice well. All right. Let me go get the last sealed box we have. So there is 20 packs. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So 30 total. That is the last of the ruby we have in stock, other than the ruby playmats. Alright. in here for our box topper. We have Weiss in a Weiss box. Also, Ralsei, are you missing any of the box toppers? I think we have a few of the other ones and whatnot, so we can throw those in for you if you are in need of them. Missing Yang. Uh, let's see. Um, I will have to double check. I'll make a note. You definitely have Ruby. Okay. Yeah, the other two boxes we opened today, we had uh, Blake and Ruby come out of them. Like, all I bought myself had Ruby. Wow, okay. Um, I will make a note. And so if we have one, then I will make sure to throw that in. Help you finish the box topper collection. All right, but for now, we need to finish a uh, signature collection or get some signature cards for your collection. With Sleepy Pira. Only signature I have is one of the Weiss ones. Alright, so hoping for a new one. while we open.
Double rare, Cinder complete maiden, Cinder complete maiden powers. You try calling her Cinda, and uh, she will burn you alive. Neo! More sleepy Pira. Cinder, infiltrating Beacon Academy. No one will know who she is in that mask. God, winter! see a lot more of Winter's character development in the upcoming seasons next year. She's only gotten a little bit of screen time, but she's had a lot of character development so far. Going undercover. Perfect timing, Renegade. We are opening up the last packs of Ruby we have in stock. So let's finish with a Siggy. Come on. SR Neptune Segoy Neptune was a really interesting character because he's like the friend of the side friend. Like, he's like three degrees removed from the main cast, but yet he still, like, shows up a lot. <laughs> Oh, 
There's one thing I do like about Rubies. There's a lot of characters who are, you know, farther from the main group. Yeah, that's the SR. Got his uh, awesome rainbow border around his character portrait. Oh, his glasses go rainbow, too. That's cool. Tons of hollow etching there. But yeah, like, so many of the side characters on the other team, they're like, you know what, let's give them five minutes to develop their character a little bit, because the fans really like this character, etc., etc. Yeah, Crow. Like how with Velvet, like, everyone's, like, seeing it for that, like, for seasons and seasons, ever since she was introduced, like... Oh, she's building up to something with that camera. She hasn't done anything yet with that camera. Something's gonna happen. And then she has, like, the most singly epic battle sequence of the early seasons. <laughs> Got Sun Wukong. Uh, we pulled the, I don't know if it was a ruby rare or a triple rare. It's the sideways photograph one, the climax one where it's like new friends, I believe it was. Neptune was from the not box pile. Uh, I am actually uncertain because I had the box pile, but I took, yeah, it was probably from the non box pile because I took some of the box pile and put it on top of the non box pile to like even them out. So. I think the bottom 10 were from non-box, and the top 5-ish were from box. Triple rare. Okay. Yeah, Ruby, Vital Festival. Seeing if I should be holding out for another SR or not. We've had multi-hit boxes as well today, so hopefully uh, we can get a couple more big hits. Yeah. Weiss summoning. Crazy luck. We got Mercury. Bulk to the side. Got a lot of it. All right. Show us a signature card. Double rare Weiss. So good. Also, I just noticed something. Literally, Neptune could hop into a Digimon series as the main character, and he wouldn't feel out of place. He's got the goggles, he's got the crazy hair, like... got that sort of on the dumb side but his heart's in the right place personality like definitely Digimon main character possibilities there Ruby embarking on a new journey
We got John. The other half of the Sleeping Pira card. Ruby Vital Festival. Double rare Lyren. You know, one thing I wonder with Ruby is after they're done producing all the Ruby, if they're going to go back to, like, the original first, like, two or three seasons and then, like, remaster them with the whatever, you know, software that they're at at the end. And just, like, fill in all the blank characters in the background with people and stuff. I mean, they don't really have to kind of a thing because, like, the early episodes were really solid, but... Might give them a fun little extra project to do. I'd certainly rewatch him again. Double rare Yang. going undercover. Also, this card, this warm welcome, I believe this is from Yang's introduction, because she has the different outfit on. I think this is from her, like, intro video, which I don't think most of the rest of these are. So I think that might be one of the few Weiss cards that made it from their intro video. Honestly, I think Yang's intro video was the best out of the four. Nothing like a good old bar brawl. Got Sun Wukong. And Motorcycle Chase? I don't remember if the Motorcycle Chase was on that one, or if that was a later episode. Amber, Fall Maiden Rare. Oof, these are, uh, that's quite the pair of cards to have back to back. Music montage scene. Oh, there's so much rainbow on this one. Segoy. All the team Juniper is there. Ah, oh, School Dance was such a good episode. Segoy, triple rare. Yeah, 
that Weiss. Also, I just realized, is uh, Roy Stallion a reference to Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist? Like, he's got, like, saw blade arms, so he doesn't have, like, fire gloves or anything. But I, I feel like the naming there is, uh, they, they've referenced other shows and stuff occasionally in their other character names. Ooh, we got another SR! Winter Schneeze! Oh boy! Ooh, they even got, like, holographic, uh, summoning snowflake pentagram. Oh, and then also her, uh, it's hard to catch the light. There we go. Her gem is also holographic on her little, uh, collar clasp. Oh boy! Also, because she has a single strand of swirly hair, she gets, like, extra rainbow right here. <laughs> Alright, two more packs. Any more surprises? Double rare, Pira. And Emerald to wrap us up. All right, but definite Segoy. Went away with two SRs and a triple R from that last set. We got Neptune, Winter, and the School Dance. Segoy. So a uh, good number of double rares and all the rest. And then I'll have Colin double check. You did need those? There go. Glad to hear they're new. And I'll have Colin check to see if we happen to have any Weiss box, or not Weiss, Yang box toppers for you. See if we can't complete your box topper collection as well. Well, that does bring us to the end of our queue. So I think what I might do is I might just take the teensy tiniest bit of a break, maybe like a quick 10 minute one. And then I can go check on that box topper personally. And then if we have any orders and stuff come through, then I can open those when I get back. So once again, we have a Weiss sale going on. So all of our different Weiss sets well, now mine is Ruby, because that was our last packs of Ruby, are on sale currently, as well as our play mats and the Attack on Titan supply kits. So if you're looking for any of those, go check it out. And I will be back shortly.
All right, we are back. All right, Scott, we got some evolving and a mystery bundle for you. All right, three packs evolving skies. Where did my evolving go? Evolving over here. All right, one, two, three. Let's pull some alt arts. Lombre, ooh, ooh. full art zinnia Sigoy. full art zinnia's resolve. I love her little like dragon scale like cloak necklace clasp thing. Sigoy. Go. Zinnia. Drowsy and Sylveon V. Segoy. Alright, Sylvia or S Sylvia and Zidneon. Yep, that that's where my brain was going. Zinnia and Sylveon. From our evolving skies, and we've got a mystery bundle. Mystery bundle drawer number 24. Ugh, it's way over here. Got it. All right, drawer number 24. Oop, timestamp. There we are. Right, let's see what we got in drawer number 24. Woo! We found one of our bonus stickers. Got a cute little Sprigatito sticker. Just looking absolutely adorable. Also, a fun fact that I recently learned about the uh, stickers. This one is done by Sevi Yummy, but all of these stickers are not only water resistant and waterproof, but they're dishwasher safe. So you can put these on like water bottles and stuff like that, and they can go through the dishwasher. They also have like UV protectant or something, so they do not lose their color even if you put them on like a window for four years. Or up to four years, I think is what it will said. So that's super cool. We also have Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, and Lost Origin. Some more crazy stuff. Coding energy. Mr. Rhyme, Bronze on Hollow. Quill 
Quill Fish. Rainbow Metagross VMAX. Segoy. Oh, the rainbow looks so good on you, Metagross. I feel like a lot of the uh, steel type Pokemon really, really take to the rainbowing because they have uh, mostly smooth or like jagged but then smooth edges. Segoy! Alright, what is your etching in the background? You've got. It's like kind of like magnetic waves going out and around. Probably for levitation. Segoy! Panic Mask, and Darkrai Hollow. All right. Went away with Super Cute Sprigatito, Sylveon V, Zinnia's Resolve, Rainbow Metagross V Max. Well, as all the hollows and reverses. Sprigatito, why are you just so adorable? Like, I am I am heavily leaning towards Fue Coco as my starter, but Sprigatito, like, cannot deny. Very cute first form kitty cat. It'll be interesting to see where Sprigatito's uh, forms go as they evolve. Honestly, I'm very interested where all three of the starters go as they evolve. Because Quaxley's got a lot of potential as well. I honestly think I might take the uh, copy that I'm not playing, you know, trade myself all three of the starters and uh, <laughs> just have them all on my team. Why pick one when you can pick them all? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I'm actually curious. All right, um, give me one moment. I'm going to create a poll. I'm curious to see which starter everyone's currently thinking. Uh, manage a poll. Sprigatito with all eyes, or has it got an A in it? Well, bar my spelling. Fue Coco. I'm just kind of curious to see what everyone thinks. Oh god, I just did that on my own channel. Derp. Ah, bravo, Ghost, bravo. You just... I, I'm very curious what my own stream apparently thinks as well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. There you guys go. I was like, why isn't it appearing? Usually it appears when I make a poll. And so I put it on my own personal channel and not on Bari Bari. Also, it's not like an official poll is binding or anything. So, you know, if you guys have Pokemon and stuff that you are, uh, you know, currently leaning towards, but, you know, well, if the starters of all forms are, you know, leaning one way or another, you know, you can always change your mind. 
just trying to gauge who is currently the uh, the popular kid, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Quaxley taking the first vote. I'm really curious if Quaxley's gonna go kind of like... I, I've seen a lot of character designs with Quaxley where he goes to like either a pirate or like an admiral and I'm like, that's a really cool design. Like, I am a sucker for like pirate-themed stuff. Alright, Sprigatito picking up some votes. The internet is just going to be, like, overloaded the day they announce the new starters, like, evolved forms and stuff. <laughs> I feel like everyone is just going to be hammering whatever site is reporting on the, you know, either leak or the news. Hopefully Nintendo manages to just get that one out on their own video without someone leaking it before they get a chance. All right, looks like currently Sprigatito in the lead. No votes for Fue Coco, but I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. Quackers for Quaxley. No, like, I'm really happy with this gen, because normally, like, on the gens, I'm like, okay, I love two of them, but I'm probably not going to pick the third. But honestly, I could go either any way, like, on the current ones, like... If I see their final forms, that's I usually cheat, like, not, well, cheat. I usually spoil myself and find their final forms and their final types, because that's what helped me decide on Hisui and Typhlosion, because I'm like, Fire Ghost? Hell yes! It's like, I love that typing. And, like, who was I? I think I was leaning towards Rowlet before I saw their final forms for uh, Arceus, because I hadn't gotten to pick uh, Rowlet when I played um, Sun and Moon. But I'm like, no, nope, gotta go with Cyndaquil. But I think we might be on the uh, wrap-up side of things. I'm gonna throw up a last call. If anyone else is looking for packs, like, I, I still got plenty of energy. I can open more and whatnot. Um, our pack sale will be continuing, at least through tomorrow's stream. So, oh, hello. Look at that, I didn't even notice this earlier. Oh yeah. 20 month sub anniversary for me. Well, thank you, Ghost, for resubscribing. Well, you know, you're very, very welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm a derp. Also, speaking of subscribing, tomorrow... Our sub giveaway for the Machamp V Alt Art is taking place. So if you have an active sub at the end of tomorrow's stream, you'll be in the running for Machamp V Alt Art. Who is exceptionally difficult to pull. Despite him being such an awesome card. Like he's just going shopping. But yeah, no, today was a blast. I loved opening all of that Weiss, finding some Titan Rares, finding some Triple R's. I guess we technically found signature cards, because that's what the Titan Rares are replacing and whatnot, but... We didn't find the actual signature signatures, unless Colin did while I was uh, out of the room. But we found some really, really good hits regardless. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Oh, today's viewer giveaway. Probably should talk about that. Japan side is doing the same card for September, October, and November. Like, three Machamps? Or is it like the... Like, what, what card are they doing on the Japan side? Is it something Japan exclusive? Or is it like a really, really, really big sub giveaway and they're doing it for th over three months instead of one? Yeah, we've been uh, super swamped over the weekends lately, so I haven't had a chance to tune in and see what all's going on on the Japan side. But yeah, this is our viewer giveaway for today. The coach trainers from Unified Minds. Ooh, the Scarlet Violet promo card. Right, right. That's awesome. If I didn't want to play the game day one, I probably would pre-order from Japan, but I'm like, I kind of want it like... At least the first week. I don't know how fast shipping is <laughs> if I pre-order it. But probably not fast enough. I'm gonna double check, see if there's any US good pre-orders and stuff on that. I was very sad I missed out on the Arceus plush from the Pokemon Center. Alright, catch those Silicoon! Just a couple left, get those final entries into tonight's viewer giveaway! Right. Well, I think then it is an excellent time for our viewer giveaway since we just had those Pokemon roll through chat. Why don't we take a moment to look over our leaderboard? All right. Keep it a little refresh. So we had Dallas, Frozen Bolt, and Shuya. Followed by a large number of people tied at 20. Four. Wow, lots of uh, lots of ties near the top today. But it only takes one entry to win. Oh, that's really cool. I think I remember hearing that she'd been able to, uh, or she was having like them in the claim sale or on the shop kind of a thing. So hopefully a lot of people who are hunting for that uh, are able to get a copy. Alright, our viewer giveaway for the Coach Trainer Full Art Supporter. I need to set shop. I keep forgetting not to do that. Set shop USA. Alright. Best of luck, everyone. Run giveaway. Give it like 10 seconds for the stream to catch up to the delay. Do, 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 do. And. Super Smiley! Congratulations! I believe I recognize your name. I think you've won a giveaway before. So, congrats on winning the Coach Trainer Full Art from Unified Minds. So follow the instructions from Professor Bari Baribot on their whisper and claim your prize. Also, I should note that you guys have one week from when you from the night of the winning night to claim your prize. Um, just because our system can't hold that many prizes in and at a time, and this way, you know, if we end up reusing this card on a future ladder and stuff, it's only 
it's only held on to for you for a week until you do the claim and then it's held on to you for you permanently. So be sure to get your claim in so you don't miss out on any viewer giveaway prizes. Um, but yeah. So thank you all for joining in on tonight's stream. It was a blast or a, a rumbling as, as Shuyi would probably put it. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. And we'll continue our Weiss pack sale, as well as our Lost Origin release month. So have a great night.